Hello, hello. Sorry if that, I hope that music wasn't blasting your ear off. I don't think it was, <laughs> but how y'all doing? Hope you're doing good today. I just had some delicious pasta earlier, so I'm very satisfied. <laughs> I don't know if I've, talked, if I've talked about this before, but funny enough, um, uh, one of my favorite places to get like 
tomato basil pastas from like an Asian place nearby. It's it's kind of funny. They, it's the only like American thing they have on their menu, but it's super good the way they make it. Tastes a little different. Lelouch, hello, hello. Why hello there, everyone. Good evening. Good evening to you as well, Lelouch. How are you? Hi, Minji. Hello. I want pasta too. Go go cook some pasta. I tried to cook some pasta the other day. How, how does one mess up pasta, right? I always mess it up somehow just by like putting in the incorrect amount of ingredients or something like maybe too much pasta versus too little sauce or maybe too little sauce versus too much too little pasta i don't know i always do something wrong it ends up tasting kind of bland um but i'm gonna learn i'm gonna learn the tricks making delicious very flavorful pasta <laughs> um just before the stream also i was asking minji a lot of questions about pokemon let's go because i've been so curious about it um because I saw the trailers a long time ago and I was like, how does this work? And she answered a lot of questions about it for me. But yeah, it's it's interesting. There seems to be a lot of people playing it right now and I'm glad that it's fun rather than like people being, oh, disappointed, like, man, this sucks. You know, it's not like gameplay. I'm glad that it is fun. I just woke up actually, so I feel like I was hit by a car. Oh, Lelouch, I'm so sorry. I know the feeling and I hope that you'll shake out of that funky part of after waking up soon because I know how much that sucks. Now you can get some refreshing cold drink. That'll wake you the heck up. Splash your face with some water. You can do this. <laughs> How were all your weekends? How'd it go? Um, I feel like I had a fairly uneventful weekend. What did I even do? Well, Doey came over. We recorded a crap ton of Deathmark. And it's pretty dang awesome so far. Scary, but it's fun. Um, hopefully you're following along with that. Because <laughs> it's really good. I like it a lot. Um, and then... Oh, yesterday I tried signing up for a bunch of voice acting classes, so we'll see how that goes. I'd like to do something with it, so I'm gonna go take some classes, and it'll be a good time. But anyways. <laughs> Is there anything? I feel like there's something coming up that I'm forgetting, but nope. I think I'm going crazy. I think I'm going crazy. Um, so today, I don't know how long, how much longer this is going to be. I'm kind of confused on how to structure this because okay so i did another day but i didn't do the battle things i don't know if people want me to do it um and so i now i've jumped to a new day and i'll just finish it i don't know what it is it's probably just like a straightforward thing and i'm just gonna finish that um and then there's the reports too so there's actually like quite a bit of stuff to finish but we'll just get through it and see see how we feel by the end so let's go ahead and switch to the game Hold on, let me turn off this very lovely rendition of one of the songs. Okay. Okay. And just le volume. Le volume. I have lots of candy, so I will be good. I finished watching your contradictions. Let's play. Oh, wow! That is such a random one to jump in, but I'm so glad you gave it a shot. I, I know it wouldn't be like a very popular game that would really catch your eye. It's like, what is this? FMV? Live actors, the hell's going on? I'm glad that you gave it a shot, though. That game was really fun and really interesting. Um, what'd you think? Overall thoughts? Thank you so much for checking that one out. But yeah, gorge on that candy. Eat that candy. <laughs> All right, let's pop in. Hello? Thank you. Okay, I remember I stopped because this Reaper gave me an intense challenge, and I was like, nope, nope, I ain't doing it. Also, my control is traveling. Okay, I know how to fix this. I just set it down. I just set it down and eventually it stops traveling. There we go. I don't know why it does that, but if I keep it held up, it keeps traveling. And then when I set it down, it's normal. Now that I know how to fix that, at least I'm not gonna spend 20 minutes <laughs> like last time trying to fix this problem. Okay, let's uh, let's see again, remind ourselves what exactly was going on here. He wanted me to beat a bunch of, or like every noise in the area or something ridiculous like that. All the noise in the area, all right. It's time to start battling. We can just chat while I while I get through this because there's a heck of a lot of dough boy. Oh yeah, it's the 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 one who eats a bunch of donuts. Okay, how much can I handle? What what pins have I got? Let's actually arm ourselves and not die. Oh, oops! I keep forgetting to swap these out so that I can use these points to level up some more stuff. But that's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Whoa! Oh yeah, I had to buy this. What does this do? To create stationary ball of electricity that damages an en any enemy it touches. Okay. I remember I was sticking to a certain bunch because I wanted to, um, to make sure I could win in battle. So let's see. Dragging, dragging seems to be pretty good for me. Wow, there's a lot of pins. I've got a lot. 
But these are all like really hard enemies, so I think I should just stick with something familiar. That's probably good. That's probably good. I think this is a decent set. Let's do it. Time to start blasting through. All right, I'm chaining as many as I can together. Here we go. They're like the purple ones. Those are all the ones where where they come back. Oh god, look at all this. Okay, this is where I have to rely on beat to use the sync attacks and come in, come in, bud. I'm gonna need you to get help me get rid of all this crap. Jesus Christ. It was good, love Detective Crab, and it being live action was really good. Uh, if you want to try another one, there's one called Late Shift. Oh, oh, I actually ended up um, watching someone play through that one. So I've, I've seen a decent chunk of it, so I guess it wouldn't be the same if I played it for myself. But I'd, I'd be more than happy to try out some more. I'm about to dive. Try out some more of those types of games because it's really, it was really fun. Um, I loved the over-the-top acting a lot. It was, it was really great. <laughs> I think they, the same people um, worked on something else too, so maybe I could check that out and jump back in there. It's been a while since I played that game, but it was a good memory. Um, the beat is on! Do you know any other of those types of games as well? Late Shift was definitely an interesting one from what I recall. Wow, that like fully heals me. That's really good. Okay. Why? Why are all the battles like this in this mode? I don't appreciate this. Oh my god. Okay, and I think the sync rate goes up a lot faster, so I think we should be able to... Whoa, did I just bounce that Raven Ball away from me with the chains? Wait, that's kind of cool. I didn't know that was possible. I forgot also my HP just rapidly drains. Okay, okay, time to go, time to go, time to go. Where is my cursor? Where is my cursor? I need, I need the <laughs> There we go. There we go. Oh god. Okay, um, I can do this. That was not the one I meant to send away, but that's fine. Cheese em. Holy cheese em. Cheese and crackers. Uh, 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 uh. Just do something. Just do something. Uh, nice. Hell yeah. Zetetica, welcome, welcome. How's it going? Thank you so much for coming by today. The Infectious Mad of Dr. Decker is another FMV game with lots of overacting. Yeah, that one, that one. That's the one I, I heard of. Is it by the same people that made Contradiction? Because um, I feel like I see them either retweeting or tweeting about it frequently or something. So like, I feel like they have some association. Maybe they just are just friends with them or something like that. But um, yeah, that's the other one that I'd heard of. Maybe I should give that one a shot, huh? Thanks so much, Zetetica. How are, how are your weekends, by the way? Crap, crap. You can multitask. You can do it. You can do it, Axis. You're capable. What the? Oh, I did not do that. How did I even hit escape? I Nope, didn't mean to do that. This is trouble. I am in trouble. I do not know how to activate that lightning one. <laughs> I am in trouble if I can't get rid of these guys. Okay, so get that little ball. Hopefully it'll leave me alone. <laughs> I don't know if that game is anyone's style, Lelouch. I think that one was really skeevy. I saw like Pro Jared play through it or something, and they even made a joke where they made fun of him in there or something, like really over the top. Oh crap. Um, yeah, that one didn't seem like a very good game. <laughs> Seems really stupid. <laughs> but I know, I know exactly which one you're talking about. Oh my god. There was some like weird thing where he like shot a tank at the YouTube convention or something like that because he was trying to make fun of YouTubers who were making fun of his game. I, it was something insane, I, I forget. Jared did not finish that one, but I, I did watch through um, his playthrough of the first game and then a little bit of the second game. <laughs> I can't believe he got enough funding slash interest to even make a second game, my god. Oh, my hello, there we go. Finally, finally. I don't think there's any connection. I remember hearing the contradiction devs were going to kickstart a sequel though. Really? I remember after after I finished the first one, I really hoped they were going to be making a second one, but I didn't hear any news of that. So that's awesome. That's, I would be more than happy to support that because the first one was really fun. It was really fun. And if I recall correctly, it's been a while. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. Oh crap. Okay, if I recall correctly, it left on like a really, really big cliffhanger um, about like the organizations or whatever. So I, I feel like they definitely need that second one to happen so we can figure out the rest of the story. It was only the beginning. 
Uh, crap, crap, crap. Oh, shoot, 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 shoot. Uh, activate, activate. I'm going to die. This is dangerous. I should probably not chain four battles together because I do not think I can survive all four of them. Okay, um... Let's see. But okay, no association. Okay, maybe they're just real good pals. Because I know they, they seem to, um... Uh, what am I trying to say? Push? Promote them all the time? Yeah, something like that. My weekend was pretty meh. Mostly winter prep and stuff. Winter prep? As in, as in prepping for hibernation in the winter? <laughs> but okay, okay, cool, cool. I mean, at least you got some stuff done. So that's good, that sounds good. It sounds like it was productive. Uh, I saw a Team 4 Star playing it. Uh, they were having a great time because it was just random crap. Uh, oh, you mean the, the seduction one? <laughs> oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, gotta activate this before I die! Yeah, I figure, I figure, um, other types of Let's players would definitely be able to work more with that game than I would, so. <laughs> I'm gonna leave it to them, I'm gonna leave it to them, but yeah, that game was very interesting. I don't know what the guy was thinking. I wonder where, like, what his background is, like, what he's thinking. He clearly takes it very seriously, he's clearly not joking, so. <laughs> What do you, what do you, I guess he d doesn't take criticism very well. I don't know. I don't know. I thought that was like a whole fiasco. It was pretty funny though. <laughs> there is so much crap on the screen. That ball really hurts. Okay, come on. Beat, beat. I'm gonna need you back in here because I am going to die soon. I hope to God this is the last battle because I am going to die. Jesus Lord, why did I decide that chaining four battles together would be a good idea? I don't know. I don't, oh my god. 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 I'm getting juggled. I'm getting juggled. Get out of there. No. Okay, okay. Please, please, please. Holy cow. I am so dumb. Why did I decide this was a good idea? Okay, okay, okay. Just go. Just go. Just concentrate. Attack them as much as you can. Be on the attack. Okay. Um. Um. Jeez, lack of combos. It just keeps stopping immediately after. Crap. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Holy mo- Reaper, why? Why did you assign me this task? This insurmountable task? Task. I just wanted to get through this area. I just want to get through so I can, I don't know, find the weird, weird-ass Joshua. All this stuff. I don't know. Okay, okay. Come on, come on. You can do this. You can do this. Crap. Crap, crap, crap. I gotta, I gotta survive. I gotta survive. Oh, shoot. I shoot. It multiplied. Okay. I need the sink so bad. Okay, okay. Holy moly. I am barely hanging on right now. Okay. Um. Thank God for this sink up thing. I would not be able to survive without it. Okay. And. Okay. Decent combo. Decent combo. Uh. Okay. Please, please, please eliminate them. Please, I can't take much more of this. Oh, come the heck on! Okay, at least that fully recovered my health. Just one more, just one more. You can do it, you can do it. Come on, come on, come on. How much health could this thing possibly have? Please! Oh, thank the gods. That was the last one, right? Please, that was the last one? Oh my god, I am never chaining four together again. Oh, that was terrible. <laughs> Holy cow! I mean, Lelouch, but I mean, it's it's pretty skeevy, though. If, if he was joking, then yeah, it, it, the game would be fine. If he was joking, but because he's like a thousand percent serious, it's kind of... It's kind of... <laughs> I don't know how those women decided to go along with him. Okay, let's see. So that was four... Jeez, oh, how many enemies are in this area? Let me, let me just do a full scan real fast okay so i cleared all the ones on the side of the screen it's a pretty big map too look at this oh god okay let's try three at once that should be decent gotta globalize and do some stuff it's gonna be really great oh my god also i binged so much of this one anime over this weekend it's crazy i don't know what possessed me to just watch so much of it but um i guess it's an older series it's called get dance and i never really gave it a try before it just looked like a random shonen series i wasn't really interested but i gave it a try and i actually really liked it um i like gintama a lot 
Um, I, I'm guessing that some of you will probably know what that is. I liked Eating Tama a lot, and Skep Dance, I only heard of it because um, they did some collaboration episode where like the characters showed up in Eating Tama. I was like, what is this show? I'm like, what the heck? And it's pretty good! Oh god. It's a nice, um, feel-good comedy kind of thing going on. It's it's kind of similar to Gintama. They're both, like, groups of people where they just, like, help other people out. In Gintama, they're, like, odd jobs, so they just do odd jobs. And then Sket Dance, they just they just take requests and help people. Um, but it's pretty damn funny. Like, it made me laugh out loud alone and, you know, by myself <laughs> quite a few times. It's pretty goddamn funny, but I binged. So much of it, so much of it this weekend. This is a very bad idea. <laughs> I'm still dying? Oh, come on. Oh, okay. Recenter. You can do this. You can do this. These dragons are kicking my ass. Okay. I'm just gonna keep my distance and everything is going to be fine. I'm, s I'm so curious about the story for this, this chapter and what's up with Coco. I mean, I have a suspicion she's connected to the person in the vision we keep seeing, but because why else? Well, I guess they could introduce two whole new characters, but I'm, I'm guessing they have some sort of connection. Otherwise, why, why would we be so closely introduced to both of these characters at the same time? Ugh. It's gonna take me forever to get there, though. A thousand million years. <laughs> Please. Okay. Set it to 200, and it'll immediately clear out the whole screen. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. God. Also, really random, but um, y'all who cook should recommend me some simple and delicious recipes that I can uh, attempt because I've been wanting to cook more lately. I've not been doing that for a while, but I don't know anything that's just good for, for beginners, you know? So if you have anything that you like to lean on, please let me know. That would be fantastic. <laughs> Okay, come on, come on. I know Gintama, I just haven't watched it. Um, I've been watching Goblin Slayer and the Slime one, which has have been really fun. Awesome, cool, yeah, I've, I've been watching the, the Slime one. I really like enjoy that one a lot. So um, I'm glad that you've been liking that, though. Yeah, uh, so far, so far the Slime one hasn't gone to hell, which I was expecting it to, but it, it hasn't. It's actually still been pretty good. So I'm looking forward to seeing what they do with that. Um, but yeah, Gintama, I, I highly recommend. Okay, see, I, I couldn't bring myself to watch it for a while, um, because I was just like, what what is this? Like, what's going on, you know? They're all kind of disconnected, and sometimes the gags are hit or miss, you know? So I, I felt kind of, like, unsure and on the fence. But once I gave it a try, um, I, I feel like the humor really started hitting me, and, like, what really shone through for me which was like when the arcs were kind of serious, which is funny because it's it's more of a gag series, but I guess it does serious parts too. Um, the serious arcs like made me cry and like there's so many feels and just, it's amazing. I really like Gintama, it's really amazing. So thumbs up from me if you ever wanted to give it a shot. I need to heal, hold on. Heal, 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 heal before you die. Oh, crap. Crapola. Crap! Okay, change pins, retry. What if I just do it on easy? I don't need to do it on normal. I'm just gonna do it on easy for now. I just need to clear this area, that's all. He didn't say clear it on hard, he just said clear it. So, might as well do that to, to speed things up because freaking heck, this area is taking way too long. Pop tarts are pretty easy. Oh my god, Zetetica, you are a genius. You're a genius. Uh, smear some peanut butter on them and you're golden. Amazing. I will attempt to cook this recipe next time at your behest. Thank you. <laughs> but that does legitimately sound pretty delicious. Um, what, what flavor pop tart do you like? What are your favorites? I haven't had pop tarts in so long. I always just got the I don't know if it was actually called strawberry flavor. It's just the one that has like the white outside with little sprinkly dots and like pink on the inside strawberry. So I'm assuming that's just a standard flavor, default. Oh, come on, get out of here, Reaper. Get out of here. Oh my God, please. Hello, please. Ooh, there's so many of them. We got some clone jutsus going on, please. Spare me from this. I set you on easy, you need to die immediately. I can't go dealing with you anymore. I got, I got places to go, things to see. 
Gintama, yes, yeah, same. I love the series arc so much. Yeah, they're so good. Wait, ha have they been airing more recently? No, right? It's it's been a while. I don't remember where they where they are so far because I I watched like everything that was available at the time, every single thing, all the OVAs, specials, little side things. I like watched everything that was out, but I I ran out at that point, so I don't know if like more had come out since then. Because I'm sure there's like way more manga than anime at the moment. There's too much Gintama, unpopular but true. You mean like too much different series? There's a lot. There's a lot. That's true. Long series like that in One Piece are just too intimidating to start watching unless you've been following the series for years. Oh, that sentiment I definitely agree with. Oh, whoa, what is this? Let's see. Flames of Fire, Foes of Flame. That sounds fun. That sounds like another fire one that I'd be down. Hold on. Um, Hands. Flames of Fire, Foes of Flame. Yeah, no, that's exactly just this one. Might as well. Ooh. What's this one? Draw a circle in an empty space, and Neku will attack with a spinning slash. Um, okay. No circles for me. Just dragon. Um, but yeah, it's 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 totally true. I was very intimidated at first as well, and I definitely feel like that for a lot of um shonen series out there. Um so, I mean, I'm just saying though, I do like it a lot. <laughs> But I totally understand that it's very scary to start real big series. That's true. It was one of the reasons why I held off on Gintama for a long time. Me too. Me too, Minji. But I'm glad I jumped in anyway. Same, same. I forgot why. I was just in a very particular mood to like be ready to start a long series. You, you have to you have to be in the right mood. It's it's hard to get there, but it happens. It happens on the occasion. Crap. What am I doing? Ah, I didn't realize. Okay. There we go. Let's see. Okay. Yeah, that's not an unpopular opinion at all. I think that's how people feel about any long-standing shonen series in general. <laughs> okay. Wait, why is it playing this music? That's interesting. It usually only plays a song when I fight piggies. I guess they just tossed it in there. Oh, come on! Please, please. Oh, crap. I forgot to set it back on easy. They're back on normal again. Oh, God. Yes, okay, leveled up at least. That recovered my health. I can't even look over anymore. There's too much happening on the screen. Okay, I just need to bring up our sync rate again. Come on, you can do this. You can do this. There's so much. There's so much. Why is this game like this? Beat, beat, come back. Beat, come back. I need you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, immediately activating it. Here we go. Okay, um... Christ, man. I just want to go past this area. How long How long are you expecting me to spend around here, huh, Mr. Reaper? How dare you waste my precious, precioso time like this? Oopsie. Crap. Whatever. Uh, if I could choose between the slime and Goblin Slayer, I'd choose the slime. The fact that you can pot potentially be reincarnated into a character is interesting. Okay, yeah, yeah. Um, I did try Goblin Slayer, and yeah, it was definitely not not what I was interested in, so... <laughs> um, I definitely like the slime one a lot better as well. Both have interesting things to offer conceptually, though. I won't deny that. Um, yeah, I just like the way that they're executing the slime one, though. It's, it's pretty nice. It's like... I guess I also prefer it at the moment just because it's, it's obviously more feel-good, so... I, I'm more in the mood for that kind of thing right now, anyway. I, I like how, how nice it is that he's trying to support a bunch of other lesser monsters. It's fun. It's nice. Oh, please. Let me escape this nightmare. Oh, my God. Okay. Um. Just, just let me out. Wake me up inside. Wake me up inside. First episode I watched ended up being 90-something because my friend told me to watch. Oh, that's so funny. I guess they were just pointing out a very specific thing that you needed to watch and could understand out of context. Oh, hold on. Oh, crap. Come on. Come on, please. Please beat it up. Beat it up before another one spawns. No! <laughs> no! Maybe I should just end my life so I could just set it on easy. This is going to be never-ending at this rate. Please, dragon, just die. 
Oh my god. Eternal suffering. Eternal suffering! That's it. I should just die. I should just- There's like three more battles after this. I should just die. Just kill me. Just end my life. Here, I'll just run into this raven ball. End my life. Wait, why isn't it hurting me? There we go. End my life! Do it, you coward! There we go. Whoa! Oh, that was beat screaming rhyme. Oh, wait, wait that made me feel bad. Beat, I'm sorry. <laughs> beat, I'm sorry. Look, I was the one who died. It was me. Okay? <laughs> Anyways. Um... Gintama is still ongoing, but right now the chapters are releasing every month now because they're no longer on Shonen Jump. Oh yeah! Oh my god, there was that really sad image that someone drew of Gin um leaving like leaving the other characters. I I don't know if you've seen what I'm talking about, but it's like there's like a bunch of shonen characters, um the main protagonists of one's series that have finished, and they're all standing on one side, and then the other side is people who are ongoing, and then Gin like leaves the like I forget. I, I don't know what it represented. I guess Gintown was still ongoing. So maybe it was just him leaving Shonen Jump and like going to another company or something. I don't know. But it made me feel really sad and made me feel feels. And oh. <laughs> but anyways, uh, it was supposed to end a while ago. But the creator... Oh my goodness. I will read that off in a second. Uh, the creator couldn't end it properly by the given time. Oh, I think I remember something like that. I'm never going to be ready for when Gintama is officially over though. Same here, Minji. Oh man. Leon, thank you so much for the uh, tier three subscription for three months in a row. I appreciate that so much. Thank you, Leon. Hi, how are you doing? I hope you're doing good today. Thank you, thank you. You are so kind. Thank you so much. Um, I actually did get past the first episode, Lelouch. <laughs> I actually did. It le left very, very, very bad taste in my mouth, and the second one didn't help either. So it's definitely not my taste. But I'm glad that you are enjoying it so far. Real deal. Hello, hello. How are you doing? Welcome. How's it going? Oh my goodness. Thank, thank you again, Leon. Thank you so much. Uh, my heart hurts just hearing your description. Yeah, yeah. It was like going around on Twitter. It was making me cry. It was, it was terrible. It's terrible, Minji. Doing good. Also, woo. New emo. <laughs> you noticed? Yes. Yes. Uh, let me let me actually stare at it because I didn't try it yet. I don't know if that's like easy to read or if I should change things up. I should add a white outline. I think I should do that next time. <laughs> but yes, I forgot to say that I added another emote. I'm gonna try and add the third one this week. But um, that is uh, Astro Pill is made up of Astro Axis, me, and Paper Pill. So that is Paper's character, just looking all looking all confused and like, uh, um, I'm comfortable. Uh. <laughs> But there you go. You have access to that now, Leon. <laughs> Being a tier three person. Thank you so much again. All right, I'm going to jump back on in. Let's do this. Please, please. I just want to get out of this map. I've been stuck here for like half an hour now. I would like to go. I would like to. It's time to go. It's time to move on. <laughs> Life's about letting go. Oh my god. Leon, a real deal. How are, how are y'all this week? How, how was your weekend, rather? Really? That's so strange, but the first one does, real deal? That's strange. That's bizarre. It was good. I'm glad to hear. What'd you do? What were you up to? I think it's one of those kind where if it loses you by the second episode, it's probably not your kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. For sure, for sure. But again, I'm glad that a lot of people are enjoying it this season. Uh, how was your weekend? Mostly been playing Red Dead 2. Oh, wow. I actually don't know much about Red Dead Redemption. What? Tell me. Give me a basic rundown. Is zombies? <laughs> I actually don't know much about it. I hear the title quite often, but I keep confusing it with other titles. I'm glad that it was fun, though. My weekend was was pretty good. Um, uneventful other than Doey coming over recording lots of Deathmark. Many episodes of Deathmark. So it's been very, very fun advancing in that game so far. Um, yeah, maybe if I type it manually. Oh, okay, okay. That's, yeah, that's strange. Uh, oh, unless you mean, um, it's available to tier two and up, if that's what you mean. For, for usage, or if you, like, if somebody types it, you can't see it. I'm unsure of which you speak of, but that might explain it possibly. <laughs> cowboys! Oh, Cowboys! It's a fantastic game with an amazing story. Cowboy! I was not expecting Cowboys. Okay, okay, cool, cool. I'm so glad that you're having fun with that. Neat! Okay, now I know. Now I know. When I hear Red Dead Redemption, I think Cowboys. Is it, like, special kinds of Cowboys? Like, crazy futuristic help? I don't know. For some reason, I'm imagining some sort of really strange twist on the setting, but I don't- I might just be pulling that out of my butt. 
Red Dead is GTA with cowboys. Oh, that paints an even even better picture for me. Nice. Okay, cool, cool. Oh my god, can I please? Can you end my suffering? Can I go? Was that all of them? I really hope so. Oh my god, let me leave. Let me leave, dude. Yes, yes. Oh, thank god. Okay, sorry that took so long. Holy cow. Oh my god, okay. I know I had to give them more food to digest as well. Okay. Yeah, might as well give them these tablet things. They seem to be the best, so... Um... Where is what they add? Okay, this is like quite a bit of bravery. We don't, uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Neku, you have to. You have to have more bravery to wear girly, frilly clothing. It is your destiny. Take this. That hit the spot. You're in HP tablets, huh? All right, I see how this is. Uh, I'm only tier one. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, so cool, cool. I'm glad I, I can help explain it. Whoa! I looked away when the screen did that. I do not like when it does that. The paper emote kind of reminds me of Susie from Deltarune. Oh, I guess from far away, yeah. They, they look a little bit different, but um, up close, but far away, I, I can see that. Um, okay, let's see. Why do I keep walking in? I don't even think about it, and I walk in because I always want to see this guy. <laughs> always want to take a good look at his face. Be like, hey, yo. Rapper guy, how you doing? Take the threads for a ride if you can't decide. Try it on for size, see what grabs your eyes. Yo, Thank nice. You. Hell yeah, I'll see you later. Peace, brother. See you later, dude. Ah, oh, why is he cute? Oh, no. Oh, no, I don't like this. Uh, <laughs> uh, <clears throat> Hanakoma, the, the threads of reality are kind of ripping apart. They're, they're, they're just falling apart. Can you do something about it, dude? <laughs> um use Amazon Prime like me, then yes, it's tier one. Actually, I don't know if that's what the blue crown means. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's, I'm pretty sure that means Amazon Prime. Um, though, I think you have that icon automatically, even if you don't subscribe in that channel. I think you just like have it in every channel you're in. So I don't know. I don't know how you confirm uh, what you subscribed with. <laughs> um, because it says Twitch Prime, not just Prime. Okay. Got it. Got it. Cool. Well, also this music, a jam, a jam. Mr. H. Hey boys, glad I didn't lead you astray. Thank you for leading me here, but also the hell's going on with all the glitching, huh? And this young lady would be- Lady? La lady? Oh, Coco! <laughs> I thought he was looking at meat and going like, And this young lady would be- And this ripe little sumptuous piece of meat would be- <laughs> Anyways. I forgot you were here. Like, only the most precious and petite reaper in the whole wide world, Coco! A reaper, eh? Um, not just any reaper, like, literally the cutest. Anyway, let's get down to business. Ignoring that, let's get down to business. I suppose you boys want to know what's going on here. Or, maybe more importantly, what the hell here is. Whoa, you're losing me- you're, you're already losing me, H-Man. Too heady for you, kiddo? Hell nah, just spill it, yo! <laughs> As you wish. You see, Shibuya- Yes? Is actually- Shibuya is actually a noise. What? <laughs> Excuse me? What? Huh? Oh. All right, the whole thing. The the thing that we're in, the the entire thing, everything in it and the people what we're all a noise? What is this? What is this? What is going on? Um Beat is Bay, right? Beat is best young lady. <laughs> Does Mino Mimoto still count as a reaper? Because if so, then Coco is definitely wrong. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. As in, who's taking the number one spot for the cutiest reaper? Gotcha, Zetetica. <laughs> Hello there, Gamma. Welcome, welcome. Ah, oh, spamming all those emotes. Hell yeah, bombastic entrance. How are you doing today? How was your weekend? Thank you so much for coming in today. Huh? What? <gasps> yeah, me too. Huh? Shibuya? Like, what part of it? All of it. The entire city! Everything around you is one giant noise. How does that work? I don't understand. What? They phones. What? You get what he's saying, yo? More or less. Damn, cuz I sure as hell don't. Ain't no way the whole city could be a noise. Right? I know, right? Like, that sounds so unbelievable. Like, lol, who could even make an enormous noise like that? A reaper, and a pretty powerful one at, le at that. But since when can they recreate an entire city? They can't. At least, not your run-of-the-mill reapers. I've never met one capable of such an impressive feat. Until today, that is. He's looking at Coco. 
He's looking in her direction. What's happening? Huh? No. Huh? No way. Okay, she's making a different sprite, and also her bag is sad now, if that is a bag. Come on. You didn't think you could fool me, did you? So she's doing this for some reason and going along with us. Why? What? Hold up. You say she's Miss Chiff? Beat. Honey, beat. You're tr sit down. Sit down, bud. You you had your time. You can. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> um. Oh, I also caught up with the new episode of JoJo, and oh boy, did the dance scene from the monk. Uh, they did the dance scene from the manga Justice. Awesome. I'm glad to hear. I always love when they are able to um, translate still images to animation very, very well. That's fantastic to hear. I'm glad I'm glad that you enjoyed that. So we gotta fight the city, right? Just punch the ground a bunch. Just just kick the ground and be like, take that! Take that, Shibuya's! How you like that? <laughs> just kick everything. Had a pretty good weekend. Yourself? Um, pretty decent, pretty decent. Uh, played a lot more Death Mark. That was about the highlight of what happened with me. <laughs> Lots of death marks. It's been good. And all the people and places we've seen were just part of your illusion? Got anything to say for yourself, young lady? So, Coco, yes? <sighs> all I can say is, like, you're a real pain in the ass. Like, I totes thought something was up since you weren't acting like I wanted you to. <gasps> She's controlling everything! So, she's also controlling the people. That's why Joshua was acting so weird. Okay, so that's why all their personalities were off. Because she was controlling them? So are they act are these beings actually there? Or are they just illusions that she came up with? I don't know. But- Oh, whoa, she's all flared up. Her ears are all spiked up. They're, she's all flared up. I guess that's because the real you was, like, actually interfering from the outside. This whole time, you was lying to us? You tricked us, yo! Um, duh. <sighs> like, literally all you had to do was find the exit. And where would that have led them? <laughs> like I tell you, Fuzzface. Well then, I'm just gonna have to make you tell me. Ooh, I'm so scared. LMAO JK. Besides, you literally couldn't do anything if, even if you tried. That body of yours is like, just a part of the noise. I like, tried to do things the easy way, but LOL, nope. And now you've, like, totes left me no choice but to drag you back into the UG. What is happening? The whole city! Ah! <laughs> um, that looks really big. If it's really that big compared to a building. I don't know if I feel- I don't, I don't feel so good right now. What is happening? Oh, no. I'm getting a pink Monokuma vibe from her outfit. Is it? Is it close? I have no idea. <laughs> Uh, like the ears and the two-colored hair. Got it, got it. She's, well, she's pretty dang evil. I don't know, this is terrible. This is terrible. More noise! And they look tough, yo. You know, for some, uh, you know, for some of Pixie Chick's goons. What well, was a beat? Don't discriminate between genders. Look. Well, boys, I've done all I can. The rest is up to you. Just shut down the source of the noise and everything will be back to normal. Ugh, don't you, like, ever know what to STF you? Just, like, JTFO already! Ugh! Did she, like, actually kick him? Did, did she, like, physically, literally kick him? She sure made the motion like she did. Wow, all these sprites coming out, they look insane. They look crazy. Don't worry, Mr. H, we got this! Yeah, let's do- Oh, wait, sorry. Wrong voice. Don't worry, Mr. H, we got this! Yeah, let's do this, phones! Okay, all right. So why? Whoa, okay, I was not expecting like a boss fight. I was not expecting like a big ass boss fight. Oh man, we're floating above the city again. We're performing levitation again. This ain't good. I don't know how we're standing. I don't know what we're standing. Are we just flying? Dude, sick tricks. Skating in the air? Sick tricks, dude. Oh, the map is huge again too. Holy cow. Okay, no problem. This will be a cinch. We can do this. We can do this. Okay, so I just have to keep avoiding the, the cloud things. Oh, oh my. Split. Okay, okay. Uh, let's... Okay, no. Raise it up to 200. Raise it up to 200. Wait until then. Just run away. Everything's gonna be fine. No, they're gonna keep duplicating if you don't do something. Come on, B. Come in. Come in. I need you. We've got, we got some problems. We've got some splaining to do. Okay, okay. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, the sink rate is suddenly going up so slowly. Come on. Yes, okay, here we go. All right. 
Um. Also, I don't know what the heck he's saying in the song, but it's it sounds real catchy. We've got the bump. We've got the luck. We've got to du we got a duck. <laughs> what is he saying? <laughs> We've got to duck. We've got a duck. We've got to do things. <laughs> okay. The health is going down awful slow, but I'm just going to chip away at it. It's fine. Oh, Gamma, thank you so much. <laughs> am I hurting this thing? I haven't been been paying attention. I think I am. Maybe not. I, okay, I'll actually pay attention next time to see if I'm, I'm hurting it. <laughs> that was definitely a foot. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm not sure if it was just like her doing a kicking motion at him though or if she like actually ended up kicking him you know you can't you can't tell with these sprites but <laughs> i i hope you didn't get too too physically abused there because she was pretty pissed the weather here has been terrible cold spring yeah yeah it's been i think it's been pretty cold in a lot of sections of the world lately but it's been pretty cold here too though you know what Actually, it works out for my room specifically. Outside is still cold and everything, but my room specifically, it used to be so hot, you know, I'd complain about it being really hot all the time. Um, but it's like cold enough that it actually makes my room temperate. So works out for me just in my room specifically, at least. <laughs> but yeah, it sucks that in general, it's been really cold outside. Ugh. I'm surprised they allow letters for <laughs> shut the F up and WTF to get through uh, that the sensors. Well. I guess because she technically doesn't say the words, so... <laughs> I get what you mean, though. I get what you mean, though. It was it was kind of funny to see those in there. Let's see. She sure is uh, very upset. Very upset. Now I'm just kind of curious why she decided to tag along with Oopsie, us specifically. What, what's up with us specifically? We've got a duck. <laughs> yeah. That thing is a lot of health, right? Right? The heck? This is gonna take forever. Okay, okay, wait. I feel like I should be doing something else. Or maybe hurting a specific spot. Sorry, I've been like half paying attention because I've also been chatting with you guys at the same time, but I should actually probably concentrate. Okay. There must be something specific I need to do. Let's see if I can figure this out. Because he's kind of just taking me through the same three phases now, so let me actually think about this. Okay. So Raven Ball's here, and we still got split enemies, so if we gotta get rid of them all, or else they start splitting. Except it takes forever just to kill one. Okay. Oh, there's a second one hiding in the corner! Get over here! Get out of here! Oh my goodness. Come on, come on! Stop with the phases! Stop doing that! The prince was effing everything from the start. You're right, you're right. Extremely inappropriate. Prince, extremely inappropriate. How dare. He also only Fs things that he really likes. Extremely inappropriate. You gotta save that, save that conversation for the bedroom, huh? Jeez, Prince. Okay, okay. So, I mean, is there something specific I'm supposed to be doing? I'm very, very, very slowly whittling the health, but it's like really slow. Okay, let me try doing a sick attack on it at the very least. We got the bump. We've got a jump. Um. Okay. Hey, decent, decent. Not bad, not bad. Oopsie. Okay. Okay. That d didn't really do anything. Uh, maybe I just have to keep going through its phases? Oh, it's different. It's different now. Now he's summoning like big dudes, so, so this is different. Maybe I just have to keep surviving these phases. I don't know. Ouch. I'll just keep doing it. Uh. Here, it's late spring, though. Yeah, it's only 8 degrees. Oh. In Celsius? Me, me no no Celsius. Me am American who use weird system rest of world don't use. <laughs> but it sounds cold. It sounds cold. <laughs> Our favorite voice clip. I, I've been thinking, Um, I've been wanting to set up gifts and or voice clips that that you can activate through through donating a certain amount of bits and stuff i see other like channels doing it all the time and we've definitely got some uh some voice clips that we like on this channel <laughs> so I, I wanted to try and um incorporate that so i'll have to look into that soon it's it's going down oh finally oh god oh god close them close them i don't want them i don't want it anymore i don't want this did i just do 700 holy cow Holy cat! Whoa! That just did like a crap ton of damage instantly and 
barely gave me any time to react. I have to do that over again. Wait a second. Wait a gosh darn it. Okay, okay, okay. I have to think about this. What can you do that can make this more efficient? What can you do to speed things up here? Hmm. I don't know. I mean, I feel like it's a decent set. It's just... There are so many phases of enemies to get through. There's no need for me to do this on regular. I guess just a matter of, of just, I always play things on normal in the first playthrough. So I guess I'll just stick to it for now. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, hey, is this the end of the game or some added content? Cravat, hello, hello. Sorry about that. I wasn't looking over because there was a lot of giant elephants going on, on the screen. But welcome. How's it going? Thank you for coming in today. Um, Yeah, this is a new day. So I get, kept getting it confused. There was another day and then there's a new day. So this one is, um, they introduce like a new character. And at this point in the story sheet, we find out she's evil. And we're in some weird alternate version of Shibuya that uh, the whole thing is a noise is what they told us. I don't know how the hell that works but that's that's what we've got so far um oh he could be saying we got the funk that would make sense that would absolutely make sense thank you thank you <laughs> um oh 46 that's cold Kravan, you are insane light jacket and 46 degree fahrenheit what that's cold <laughs> that's freezing I'd be like bundled up in like thick ass jackets, gloves, scarf. I'd have the whole shebang going on. That's goddamn cold. <laughs> yeah, like the occasional no, that's wrong is a good one. I, I like especially like the one where his voice is muffled. Shuichi's voice is the voice is muffled. God, I was gonna say moist is muffled. <laughs> You watch Yu-Gi-Oh! A Bridge Axis? Yes, I do! I'm, I'm very much looking forward to his next- I'm just gonna- I'm just gonna blab because this is gonna take forever. I'll try and be more careful as soon as that phase shows up, but in the meantime, I think I can just screw around because it just takes so long to get to that phase. Um, but yes, I do. Why do you ask? I enjoy it very, very much. I'm looking forward to whenever the next episode comes out. Uh, it's been about zero to negative nine here, and I've had to leave the windows open to ventilate my printer for the week. <laughs> Damn, dude, okay. Let me actually, like, aim, though. I'm, like, half looking over, half fighting, because this part is so tedious! There's so many phases to get through. Um... It hits 8 to 10 in my apartment in winter at times. Oh, damn. Damn, dude. Although, that's with my windows open. That sounds really cold and very upsetting. <laughs> 46 probably feels different in California. Really? What, what exactly would the difference be? Like, humidity-wise or something? What would, what would the difference be? Um, let's see. Come on, man, come on. <laughs> Brooklyn Rage! Absolutely. I, I love, I love Joey. He's great. Did any of you guys actually watch, um, sure, I haven't, like, watched the series or anything, but I actually ended up watching the movie, Dark Side of Dimension. Wow, I had fun with that movie. It was really fun. The way that they handled it, it almost felt like you were watching a Yu-Gi-Oh! Bridge. I don't know how they used to handle the humor in the dub on 4Kids, but, like, it felt- they made a lot of, like, really funny, like, self-jab jokes in the movie that I thought was so amazing. It was really great. It was such a fun time. That's the one with Seto Kaiba in the space elevator. I enjoyed that very much. I hope there are more- more things like that sometime soon. Maybe I should just give the actual series a try. It's- it's been a while, though. I- I think I only ever watched the ones with 4Kids. Should I bother using the sink on this thing? I don't think so. I'm like barely hurting it, so I guess I'll just save it to wipe enemy maps so that we can just speed through those. Cause this is getting all ridiculous. Winter is pretty dry everywhere I've been, so I don't think that part is any different. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, might as well just wipe the screen and heal. I guess that's true. I guess that's true. Um, unless like their their winters don't involve like cold weather, but I guess you're you're pretty much right about that. Let's see. Oh, crap! Uh, shoot! Wake up! Wake up! Okay. Come back down. Alright, I'll just wail on you. It, it, huh. That, that's doing eight damage. Okay, that's doing eight. I thought it was doing a bunch of zeros. So I got kind of worried. Get up in there! Get up in there! Get up in there! We got this! We got this! Go through all the phases. I got a cousin in California and he freaks out about rain and 
Uh, 50 degrees weather. Me too. Me too. We're <laughs> Californians. We're just weak to all this stuff. Look, look. It's just look, look. <laughs> me too, though. So I understand. <laughs> Let's see, what? They took the Dragon Ball Super approach where they made it more abridgy. Oh, oh, is that what they ended up doing in, in Dragon Ball Super? That's a game, right? I'm, I'm, or is that a series? Crap, I'm, I'm confusing all of the uh, subtitles in the, in the titles of the games. But that's awesome, though. I'm glad that they ended up doing that in Dragon Ball as well. I've seen a lot of really funny clips from the official dubs, so they, they make me laugh a lot. <laughs> In Arizona, 80 degrees is like hoodie weather, but here in New Jersey, it's warm. Oh my God, hoodies in 80 degrees. That sounds real hot. Sounds real hot. <laughs> um, that thing has two bars of health, so it goes down so slow. This might take you a while. Yeah, I mean, I got it down um, to a little bit past this bar which takes me to another phase, so hopefully. I don't know if I'm doing something wrong or if I'm just really weak. I'm not super sure. Okay, so I'm just I'm just gonna wait and see what happens with um, the, uh, the phase where his eyeball shows up, because I insta-died there. Did I set it on hard on accident and forgot to set it back? Like, I don't know, I don't know why I like instantly died at that point. Anyway, it's fine. I'm chatting with you guys at the same time. We're just gonna pass the time while this is going. <laughs> oh my god. Come on, come on. Help, help. There we go. California's always on fire. You're right. You're right. Literally on fire. Yeah, you're absolutely correct about that. It ain't cold to go out for a few minutes. And once back home, you have a headache and your skin hurts. Oh no. Oh no. That's not the, like, the opposite problem of what, um, Paper has been in Singapore and she says that she's, like, it's so humid that you have to take showers constantly and you sweat instantly when you go out and you come back. It sounds terrible and it's like that year round since it's tropical and everything, but that sounds very painful. I don't know if I'd prefer extreme heat or extreme cold. Neither. Neither sounds good. Neither sounds pleasant. Come on, get, get back to eyeball phase so I can instantly die. Oh my god. Okay, okay. So this this is a good sign. I got to this phase before where there was the giant dudes. I'm gonna save the sync attack. It's not really split mode because they don't respawn. They just look they just look glitchy, so I guess I don't have to worry about them respawning. Okay, you can do this. Oh crap. I'm dying, I'm dying. Come on, come on. Okay. Go to eyeball mode, do it. Oh crap, there's still a bat in here, get out of here. You gonna do it or what? No? Oh my god. If I wonder if I'm doing something wrong, because this is so tedious. This is so tedious. Oh my god. Now? Now? No, not yet? Ah! Oh! <laughs> I should have just used the sink instead of saving it. Oh, whatever, it's too late now. Come on, get back in here. Get back in here. Oh my god. Um, oh, sorry. There's like a lot going on in the chat. I'm trying to, trying to multitask. It's okay. Just focus on this. Just do it. Come on, Ed. Come on. Go away. Go away. Okay. Are you going to do the thing? Not yet. No, not yet. Holy cow. I can't believe they would do that to you, where they like make this thing a freaking walking tank with health, so much health, and just insta kill you. Okay, I'm not letting you murder me this time. I'm gonna get a leg up on you, kick you in the eyeball, poke your eyes out, make it so you can't shoot those dang old overpowered laser beams at me. Okay, let's see. All right. Christmas. Okay. Please do something. Anything. Okay. Oh, oh, that moved the phase. That's good. That's good. That means he didn't insta kill me during that phase. I'm progressing. It's still the, it's still the second bar of health though, but I, I made it past that screen at least. Oh god. You guys, what is up with this fight? I swear like seriously, did I set this on hard? Like why why? Why is this so difficult? Anyway, I see a lot of discussion about weather going on in the chat. 
Um, at 100% humidity, your sweat doesn't evaporate into the air, so it can seem hotter than it actually is. Oh, oh, that makes sense. That makes sense, yeah. Humidity is the absolute worst. For me, not only is it obviously just uncomfortable being in, but um, places that are humid often have mosquitoes, which are my worst enemy. I don't know if I've talked about this before. I am, like, deathly allergic to mosquito bites. Not like it'll actually kill me, but... I don't even know how to explain, like, one bite on my leg or something, um, it'll swell up my, like, entire calf and I won't be able to walk properly. Like, it'll be so swollen, the muscle is like, I can't walk. It's terrible. It's absolutely terrible. Like, one tiny bite can incapacitate me, so, fun. Anyways, that's why I really hate human places. Like, I stay the hell away from them. And apparently I have the tastiest blood in the world or something because they always aim for me. They do not aim for other people, just me. So it's great. It's a double whammy. Fantastic. But yeah, just don't like it. Don't like it. <laughs> Can't go to like Asia in the summer or anything because I will die and be alive and be miserable constantly. So it'll be very fun. Please, please. I need, I would like to move on to the next phase. I do not want to be here forever. Please. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. This this stream so far, in terms of the game, has been so painful. They've been just tight been tight ticing me. Yes, tossing me. Very painful fights, one after the other. Please don't do this game. I actually want to just progress in the story. I'd very much like to do that. Okay. Still the same thing? Are you kidding me? Oh my god. Throwing this out there, if, if anyone wants to <laughs> assist me in trying to see if there's some sort of, uh, like, strategy I'm supposed to be doing or something I'm missing, please feel free to inform me because this is going to take a bajillion years at this rate. This is ridiculous. <laughs> I don't see what else I could be doing other than just hitting it. What? I don't know if there's something I need to be finding. I, I don't know. I don't know. This is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Oh my god. Please, please. Uh, I've always been a mosquito and fly magnet all my life. Dude, same, dude. Same Z's. <laughs> I don't die from mosquito bites, at least. Okay, at least there's that. At least there's that. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Don't die. No, 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 no. I'm not allowed to die. After, after spending this much time on this fight, you are not allowed to die. Pay attention enough so you at least survive. Holy moly. Come on, get in there, get in there. Why am I freaking dying? Please. God. Uh, please, just. Oh, Lord. Okay. My arm is getting very tired. Holy moly. It'll be a battle of endurance. <laughs> but war of attrition. Why did I pick that one? Okay. Everything's fine. I'm allergic to perfume, sadly, depending on the kind. I break out really bad. That sucks! Lelouch, I'm sorry to hear that. That really sucks. Being allergic to honestly anything just freaking sucks. Why do our bodies do this? To such particular things. Terrible. Terrible. Doesn't benefit anything. Okay, uh, I think he's doing the eyeball thing. I think I should heal. Oh, wait. Just kidding. Never mind. Never mind. I assumed he was transitioning me to that. Um, do you eat a lot of fruits and veggies? Um, <laughs> ma ma mozzies? Mozzies. I've never heard them called that before. Is that a New Zealander thing? Uh, they go after sweet blood. I feel like you should be dealing more damage or something. Yeah, I don't I don't know. I don't know why I'm, I'm like chipping away so slowly. I don't know if it's just because I'm too weak. Like I just didn't level up enough or something and came at the, this point under leveled, under equipped. I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure why I'm doing so little damage. <laughs> That's funny. Cool, cool. Um, I do like to eat fruits and veggies, but I don't know if I particularly like constantly have them when I'm around bugs. I don't know. I don't. I guess if it's just in my diet in general, it'll just change my blood composition and, and make me very tasty to bugs constantly. I don't know, but that's per perhaps that's the case. Please, please. Oh my god, I'm suffering. I'm in absolute suffering right now. We're just gonna have to hear we got the funk on endless loop. It's it's gonna be forever. We got the funk. 
We got the bombs. We're gonna die and be stuck here forever. Oh my god. I, did that even do anything? Did that even hurt him at all? Okay, I refuse to die on this stage after this long. I'm gonna be very, very careful. Wow, do you see? Oh, crap! No, 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 no. When is he gonna attack? I'm gonna heal. Wait, oh, I'm allowed to attack? Oh, no. I refuse. Oh, no, no, no. I refuse to die here. I refuse to die here. Okay, it's too dangerous to attack. Oh, no. Oh, no. Move, 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 Neku, move. Move, Neku, move. Do not die. Do not die in this phase. You are not allowed to die in this phase. Okay, I should stay away from the eyeball. Very dangerous. Oh, no. Okay. Okay. It seems like I can do the most damage in that phase, but also he can freaking murder me in that phase. I'm also out of healing items. This is very, 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 very bad because my health is constantly going down because of curse mode. Okay, this is very bad. Beat, 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 beat. Please, beat, beat. This is bad. I do not want to redo this fight. Okay, wait, I can set it on easy. I can set it on easy. I'll do that. I can set it on easy. Hopefully that'll help even, even a little bit. Okay. I'm just gonna look this up. The hell's going on? The hell's going on? On easy? I don't know how much easier it'll be, but it should be much, much, much easier. <laughs> oh my god. It's because these boys ain't, aren't brave enough to fight in school schoolgirl uniforms, right? They need schoolgirl uniforms to be the most powerful beings in the universe. How could they deny that? How could they deny all that power? Okay, a new day. The world ends with you. Elephant boss? I don't know what I'm doing wrong. It's called Wooly. Wooly? Oh, okay. Those are the, the other elephants. The smaller elephants. Uh. Is this the right thing? Hmm. No, people are all asking about the smaller one. Is there anything about this big one? How do I find this? Um. Let's see. I was a mosquito repellent when I was eating lots of Marmite. Nice. <laughs> Bananas are the best. Oh, doesn't that make that, them very attracted to you? That's what I heard. That's what I heard. They dislike vitamin B, I think. Oh, okay. Uh, any chance you also have O-type blood? I actually don't know. I actually don't know my blood type. I'd very much like to find out someday. Um, but I'm deathly afraid of needles. So I've been very afraid to go find out, but I'm so curious. I'm so curious. <laughs> I know, RIP me, that's terrible. After that long ass part, I worked so hard and got so far. In the end, it didn't even matter. Not even a single bit. Um, Let's see. Yeah, I I'm gonna change the difficulty for sure. Gohan, hello, hello, welcome. Do homework, watch Astro Pill. Well, I guess this is my new podcast now. Hell yeah, just leave me on in the background. I'm cool with that. Hi, Gohan, how's it going? Thank you so much for coming by today. Hopefully you can get that homework done. I have no idea what my blood type is either. Yeah, yeah, I, I wonder why they don't just um test you in the beginning. I guess it's not nice to, to stab needles into little babies, but uh, I feel like that's something that'd be easiest to do at birth or you would want to record that at birth. I am unsure. Um, I don't even know why there are different blood types or how they're figured out. Oh, yeah, I, I, ne I didn't never, never thought too hard about that either. <laughs> Stabbing needles in babies is fine, right? Totally ethical. Definitely fine. <laughs> I used to always joke, um, I don't, well, not everybody goes through this, obviously. Wow, I feel like, am I doing more damage than before? It's doing zero damage to me now, smoke-wise. I feel so much more powerful. Y'all look at this. Holy cow. Please, please die. Please do it. I did lower the difficulty. I'm pretty sure I did. Um, I'm actually not really kidding. Kravan. <laughs> I, I guess so. I guess so. If, you, if you're just doing it for medical purposes, I suppose. <laughs> Oh my god. I was gonna say something. Oh, I would used to always joke um, that during high school when I was going through my my puberty acne phase, I was just like, huh, okay, this is gonna be real gross and I'm real sorry, but I was just like, sometimes I bleed when I when my I pop my pimples. What if I just use that? Can they, they can they test my blood blood type with that? 
Because that way I don't need to use a needle. Okay, oh, gross part over. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sure some of you have thought that before when you're curious about your blood. Just me? Just me? <laughs> you can narrow down your blood type if you know your parents' blood types. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's true. Uh, I'll have to ask. I think it was A and A. B. Oh, shoot. Was that a bad time to do it? I think it's invulnerable. Oh, shoot. I, for I forget their blood types. I'd have to ask. Um, I don't think any of them were O, though. Actually, I, I don't know. Just kidding. I have no idea. It's been too long since I last asked. Uh, uh, crap. Um, uh, yes. Done. Okay. I don't know if that hurt them, but that's fine. Okay. How much does it hurt me now? Okay. That's actually not that. You know what? I'll just stand here and take it. Wail on him. Kill him. Get revenge for all the pain that they caused you. Holy cow. The difference. The difference between the damage, though. It's insanity. Why? Why did they make it so hard? Why did they make it so hard? Insane. Okay. Just wail on him. Stab his eyeball. Stab his eyeball. Okay. You missed. You didn't miss that time, but you uh, you, uh, uh, you didn't also miss that time though. Come on, come on. Everything you can do, everything. Just wail on him, do it. Come on, end end it now. End it now. Let's sink attack, please. Ah, oh, crap. Dang it. Okay, you can do this. You can do this. Easy mode. Much better. Much better. If you're curious, you can go donate blood. They will tell you and you'll help people. Yeah, see, I, I would absolutely love to donate blood if I wasn't deathly afraid of, of needles. I'm like really afraid of needles. I can't stand them. So um, absolutely, I, I love the idea of being, donating blood though and helping other people. I, I really like the idea. If I, what, if I ever get over my crippling fear of needles, I would absolutely go. <laughs> That's the only reason I don't know my blood type by this point. I, I definitely would have gone to donate blood if I wasn't afraid and I would have figured it out. Dude! Holy cow, the difference! That's great! That was insane! What difficulty am I on? Am I a normal? Well, okay, I need to check. I need to check. This is driving me crazy. Oh my god, okay. Okay, I need a break. Oh, that was that was too much. That was too much. If one of your parents is A, B, then you can't be O, but you can still be O if one parent is A and the other is B. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah right. I remember that, I remember that. I'll, I'm curious, I'll ask them. Maybe, maybe I'll just, here, let me text my mom right now. She'll be like, the hell do you want? Why do you need to know that? <laughs> let me text her right now. Uh, let's see. Hey, mom. Really random question. What are your and dad's blood types? Um. Cool. There we go. <laughs> um. Let's see. Man, if only that worked, anime characters would be in heaven. What? What? What are you talking about? I'm C blood to ab Of course you are. Of course you are, Wiggles eyebrows. <laughs> of course you are. Uh, this is far better. Length equals difficulty, apparently. It's almost dead, WTF, right? Right? BRB, gonna go make a needle, Emo Gamma. I'm coming after you. I'm gonna come after your life. I'll take a needle, turn it back to you, at you. How do you like that? <laughs> I've had to go get blood tests for the past few months, so it's been needles in me weekly for a while. Oh, ouch. Ouchies. It's probably a good thing I don't really have any fear of needles. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Maybe even eventually you just get used to it. Even if you're scared at first. Maybe if you have it done enough, you probably get used to it. I can imagine. <laughs> what if they punch you in the face and take the blood out of your cheek? <laughs> right? Right? Sa same as if you pop pimples and it bleeds. Can they take that? <laughs> Uh, clearly someone is dying of blood loss and you need to give them some ASAP. Oh no, Grivan, no, but no, I can't do it. <laughs> You're saying the hypothetical situation of someone's bleeding out in front of me? Okay, maybe. Maybe in that situation. Okay. <laughs> oh, the pimple blood train that you mentioned. Got it, Lily. <laughs> I actually find watching the blood come out really fascinating. I'm sure. I'm sure. It's, it's also probably terrifying and gross at the same time, but... <laughs> A designing ways to stick needles at people. What? What, Cravan? What kind of job is this? It sounds very sketch. I'm just kidding. Not at all. Not at all. It sounds very legitimate, but also scary. <laughs> I'm a bit squeamish, so I just like needles and stuff too, but I don't have a phobia of them or anything. Oh, okay. Got it. Yeah, yeah. That's, my, mine is extreme, so I guess everybody's on a different scale. 
If only you had a power to ma magically fill vials with your blood. <laughs> right? If I could just transfer it out. No problem. No problem. Insta, insta do it. Needles through abdomen and brain. What? Corvan, no, that sounds painful. What are you talking about? No. <laughs> Whoa! Where are we, yo? Looks like Udagawa. Wasn't we just at H-Man's Cafe? And what's Pixie Chick still doing here? She's still here? Ow. Now that we erase the noise, I think we're finally back to reality. Oh my god! Damn, dude! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes? Hello? <gasps> Ski! Hello! Oh my god! I don't think we've heard from her since okay we we saw her in the fake world with rhyme and they were both acting kind of weird okay i wonder if she's her actual form are we ever i don't think we're gonna get to see her actual form we should be in the real world now though i think okay anyways girl neko it's cheeky are you okay oh my god we get okay we get to see that that sprite of her but probably not the full sprite cool cool so we're actually in reality okay good 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 me yeah uh, i'm fine what a relief! It's just, one of Mr. Mew's seams ripped? What, was that the bad omen? Was that the bad omen? So you were like, the seam ripped! Neku must be in trouble! Uh, good, good, makes sense, makes sense. And I got this feeling something terrible was about to happen. Nope, just another day in the RG. Okay, uh, sorry for freaking out. Speaking of Mr. Mew, I've gotta buy some stuff to stitch him up tomorrow. Wanna come with? Sure, why not? Neku, you are so nonchalant after all that craziness just happened. Are you sure you want to accept that right now? I, I think we got some things to take care of, bud. <laughs> oh, thank you, Gamma. Thank you. Uh, hi, Jayola. Welcome, welcome. It's good to see you. It's been a while. How you doing, dude? Hope you are doing well. <laughs> At first, I was trying to make out the context of what you were saying, but I got it now. I got it now. <laughs> Yeah, Shiki and Ryan were paired up. Yeah, yeah, so it felt like a eternity, an eternity since we last saw them. All right. Great, I'll text you later then. Talk to you soon. Sounds good. Hey, Bones, is it I if I make a call too? Rhyme, how are you, honey? Oh, I I'm assuming it's Rhyme, okay. Finally, I know patience is a virtue, but all that waiting left me worried sick. Hi, Rhyme, hey, sweetie. Rhyme, is it really you? Beat? Uh, yeah, of course it's me. Are you okay? Rhyme! You're alive! I thought you was a goner, yo! I could say the same to you! Where'd you disappear to? <laughs> My bad. Uh, some just came up is all. No big deal. I'm still shopping anyway. Wanna join me? You bet! Sit tight! I'll be there in a sec, yo! Okay, meet me at the park. See ya! Booyaka! We did it, yo! Sure did. I'm just glad stuff's back to normal. Hey, what do we do with Pixie Chick, yo? We can't just leave her here, can we? What? 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 Yo, look out! Look out for what are you doing? No, what? Oh, God. Oh, she's crazy. Oh, she's got a gun. Who gave the tiny girl a gun? Oh, she shot us. Oh, we died a second time. Oh, no. Are you serious? What? <laughs> Wait, what? What's happening? Hello. <laughs> Who's shooting who? <laughs> we got shot. We got shot. We must have. So she shot us. Joshua shot Coco. Same as last time. We're dead again. We disappear. Ah! <laughs> Why? Why is this happening? Good. Good. Fantastic. I just got out of there. I just got out of there and you pull me right back in. Whoa, okay, buildings are disintegrating. That's not normal. Okay, okay, we're in the new place or we're just getting a vision. Okay, it's this girl again. She's got Mr. Mew. What is going on? Um? Too late. It's all over. Huh? <laughs> Looks like Shinjuku got erased! The whole city? The whole of it. All of it? All of Shinjuku. Erased? Gone? Okay. That's fine. Everything's fine. What? <laughs> what just- <laughs> Okay, I need a moment. Um, it's okay. Statistically, any shot to Neku's body is probably going to miss him, right? Even if it's at point blank. 
<laughs> on account of how thin he is. Oh, that's what you meant. Got it. Got you right. It's like shooting at a piece of paper, basically. What the hell's going on? That I don't know. Gamma, I don't know. <laughs> I thought the world ends with you supposed to be set in Japan, not America. Wait, why? Was it was there some semblance of America brought in there? Do you mean that the girl that showed up? <laughs> what? <laughs> Real deal. Oh my, you're right. You're actually you're absolutely right. He's the only one who's allowed to kill us. It's what he's into. <laughs> Winky face. <laughs> this is Neku's life of hell, huh? Some bull crap, right? Right? The hell is happening? <laughs> Shooting a toothpick. Yeah. You're right, he's got a little bit more meat on his bones than a piece of paper. Toothpick, probably a pretty good comparison. <laughs> oh, just everyone having guns, got it. Nice burn, nice zinger, like it. <laughs> Looks like Shinjuku got erased. So it would seem. Never thought we'd see an actual inversion occur. Inversion, okay, all right, new terminology. And so close to home at that. Right in our own backyard. Pretty unsettling to have noise popping up in the RG. Oh. That's interesting. Okay, I don't think noise is ever normally interfered in the RG, so that is pretty concerning. And then there's that girl. She must be the one responsible for Neku's visions. You mean those teasers? Yes. He must have synced up with her somehow. She may have even lent him a hand. How fortunate she managed to escape Erasure. Clearly, she's something special. Let's not forget our little Reaper friend. We've got some crazy cats headed our way, <laughs> which makes me the, which makes this the calm before the storm. There's no telling what will become of Shibuya, but I suppose that's their problem now, not ours. Okay, okay. So here's here's uh, some semblance of both of them cooperating in a godlike overseer manner. Okay, what about Neku? He served his purpose, but I don't need him anymore. Okay. okay. Okay, all right. <laughs> this game is basically GTA now with all the guns, right? Right, we're gotta run around, punch everybody in the face, shoot some people up, you know, steal some cars, it'll be great. <laughs> but where are the cars? Um, um, they've been replaced by pins. We, ri we ride on pins. <laughs> I don't know. Um, what's special about Mr. H? So his role has been generally unclear up until this point. I'm sure we get a lot more context maybe through reports and things like that. He's kind of always just sort of known generally what's going on. We thought he was the composer, but he's not. But he's the one who designed a bunch of stuff that got used in the Reaper's game. I don't know. I honestly don't solidly know what his role is just yet. <clears throat> Other than he's very un omnipotent. Uh, oh, so she's screaming at somebody. All right. <laughs> Speak for yourself, nerd. Uh, the game, like, literally can't go on without Neku. Like, maybe you don't need him, but I totes do. And if he's, like, even gonna stand a chance, he's totes gonna need a Zeta strong partner. If those goons are so thirsty for a fight, then they can, like, come here and get wrecked like the noobs they are. Nice, good, good. The language, perfect. There's, like, no way we're gonna lose. Okay, so we're being used as a representative again before by Joshua, this time by Coco? Is that what's going on here? Yes? Oh, okay, now she's summoning some gobbledygook. What's happening? Hello? Math guy? Math guy. She said Zeta. Math guy? What is happening? <laughs> a new dame, a new dame, yes, a new dame begins. A new game begins in a new day. Ha hi, who are you? Hello? Who are you? New seven, seven whole new days? Seven whole new days. A whole week? Oh my god, I did not realize. What? Okay, I don't know. I'm just gonna let this take me where it wants to because... <laughs> what? Why did it let me show... Huh? Huh? Was that the end? Was that the end? Wait, 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 what? Wait, what? Wait, huh? Wait, what? What? Huh? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> I'm so confused. What the hell? Uh, do you know what song? Oh, sorry, I I missed it, Gamma. Sorry, I was so confused by what just happened. Um, 
maybe I, again i think i think if you just scroll through like an ost list somewhere i and just play each one i think you should be able to find it um but that new dame sounds much more interesting right there was a new dame that did show up on the very end screen sequel yeah was it was it seriously hold on y'all we gotta research this okay let me let me advance here real fast you've completed a new day congratulations please select a different chapter from the main menu to end this chapter what cup of, joe for the road? cup of joe for the road no i want answers i want freaking cup of joe i want goddamn answers i'm gonna slam the table oh my what is happening um hold on i don't need these but i just need a moment i just need a moment to settle down what thanks boss sorry i'll see you later dude huh that that was already three days. That was already three days? There's not a four, five, and six, and seven? Huh? What? Will she be the new protagonist? She's got headphones like Neku. I... That'd be insane if they were gonna suddenly make a sequel in this day and age. Because this is like a remake of an old ass game. What? Okay, hold up. The world ends with you, a new day. Ending? Ending? I don't know. I don't understand. What? Ending discussion. What the hell was that? <laughs> I found a Reddit post that the title is a new day ending discussion and their only comment, comment underneath was what the hell was that all in caps? Me too. Me too. Um, sounds like the producer wants a sequel, but not many others do. Really? What? Let's see. Okay, they're all discussing it, but I- They're all just saying very specific things about it. Um... Sorry, I'm just looking through this thread. They hyped a new character for the new post game, only to basically use her in the game to hype up a sequel. Okay. I was expecting about the length of a new week for the new scenario. Week takes me about blah blah blah. I cleared this in about two. Yeah, because it's only a couple days. Let's see. Okay, this person just has a lot of complaints about it. Um. What? That's crazy. It's just a sequel teaser? How likely is it even going to be? People have wanted a sequel forever. Yeah, yeah, no, that'd be that'd be cool, but also a very strange move. I don't know, just the timing of it and everything. That's kind of, I mean, now now is better than ever, right? Ba now is better than ever because they have this remake on the Switch on a modern console. So, you know, uh, clearly Square Enix canceled the FF15 DLC to move resources over to a, the World Ends With You sequel, right? She she really looked like a Final Fantasy character. Obviously, they all have a a lot of Final Fantasy-esque stuff, similar artists, you know, same artists, uh, same company, whatever, whatever. But her design, oh, it's only because I'm thinking of, um, somebody wore, wore plaid? That was the only reason. And a skirt? Was it in the one with lightning, Final Fantasy 13? The one with the, the other one with the pink hair? Also has a plaid skirt? That was probably the only reason why I thought of it. Never mind. Never mind. Um, are you just trying to confirm that you reached the real ending? I guess so, Zetetica? I guess so. I mean, that seemed like it was really the real ending, but I just wanted an explanation of why it was so abrupt. That was all I was looking up. That was all I was looking up. Uh, you never know, games get sequels all the time. Kingdom Hearts has been going on, uh, on and off for 20 years at this point. Very true, very true. Uh, I'm down for a femme MC. Me too, me too. I'm always down for that. She, she does seem pretty cute, though I'm so confused about the plot. <laughs> if this sells well, a sequel would be plausible. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Uh, I mean, he'd be working on the FF7 remake at the moment, so the world ends with you. Sequel wouldn't happen until after whichever decade that comes out. Okay. Well, that was it for a new day. I was expecting that to be much longer and explain more. Uh, mostly, it was just very unforgiving fights. <laughs> that final boss fight sucked a lot. Well, it was pretty interesting. We're going to play now. So... I mean, if y'all are okay with it, I was actually interested in getting the reports. Um, I guess I'll ask right now to those of you who have already fully played through this game. 
would it be interesting for me to go through and get the reports to find out more information on the lore? I'm interested in doing that, but I don't know if that's like very fun to watch. So I'd like to know your opinion um, if you if you have one about that. Oh, uh, let's see. I cannot open that link on the computer, but let me open, see if I can open it on my phone. Did you have any other games planned to stream? I didn't have it set up for today. I do have another game that I'm um, that I'm planning on doing next, but I didn't have it set up for today. Though I could easily just take a break and um, and set that up if if this doesn't end up panning out. Give me a quick second. Um, hold up a second. I'm gonna copy and paste your your link again, just so I can have it in the, on my phone. Okay. <clears throat> How are you streaming this, by the way? Are you using a capture card? Yes, I'm using an Elgato HD 60S and uh, Streamlabs OBS. Let's see. So, okay, I, I clicked on your link. I'm just gonna check it out real fast. Secret ending. Okay. Is this for the? Okay, let's see. Collecting all the, all the secret reports? What? Oh, but I didn't even collect all the secret reports. Unlocks a teaser with the new character standing in front of the 104 building, which says new seven dates. Well, I didn't have to get reports to see that. Um, I think what's important is the feeling the players got when they saw that ending. Joshua, who has watched Neku grow up firsthand, may have discovered the hope of the possibility of Shibuya changing. There are hints about the story scattered throughout the game, and so I'm sure it'd be fun if you connect to those pieces and think about them. Okay, interesting. All right. All right, so no opinions about whether whether it'd be interesting or not for me to get reports. I, I'm interested in doing that. Why don't I just just check it out real fast while I'm waiting on, on a reply for that? Let's see. For me, it was mainly an excuse to play more with the other partners besides Beat. Uh, would be slow if you're not also grinding bravery and doing other stuff. Interesting. Okay, okay. Hmm... Should I switch games? Let me let me get a drink of water real fast. Whew, okay. Well, um, I only had one next one in mind. It's um, if you want to finish the rest of the story, that's where it is. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what y'all would prefer, but um, um, the next game I had in mind, I guess I was gonna keep it a surprise until we were gonna definitive, we were going to definitively jump onto another game. But uh, Yomawari, I don't know if you've heard of it, but there's Yomawari Night Alone and Yomawari the second one. <laughs> I don't know what it's called, but I've played the first one on the channel with paper and uh, I wanted to play the sequel because I think it went on sale recently and I had only it only got on my radar recently. So that is what I wanted to play next. I don't even know if it would uh, take all that many streams to finish it, but I'm definitely interested. So more lore slash background than story. Hmm. I'm so unsure now. I don't know. I don't know whether I should jump to another game or not. I don't know. <laughs> I've never heard of that game. Yeah, it's, um, how do I even basically describe it? It's a horror game. It's pretty much a horror game, but it's not, like, really realistic. It's, like, a top... Da mm, I don't even know how to describe it. Isometric? I don't know. And you're just this cute little girl, and it's adorable. But you run around a city, and it's all scary, and there's yokai everywhere, and it's pretty terrifying. <laughs> but it's very interesting. I, I really liked the first one. The atmosphere was, like, really, really cool. <laughs> uh, because if I'm smart, I should be sleeping soon. Okay. All right. One vote for that. Got it. Got it. Who knows? It could be fairly entertaining. And plus, we could just be chatting, which is cool. You have a PS4, right? Have you thought about getting the Spyro Trilogy? It's really good. Would love to watch you play that. Maybe? Maybe. I, um, I'll definitely think about it because it, it definitely seems pretty interesting. So thank you for the re recommendation. I do have a PS4, though. I do. I'm just gonna jump in for now. Um, will I? I'll still get this, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. I can open this menu at any time, so. 
get the nose glasses and meet up with the secrets? Uh, hello? Can I select- Hi, can I select this? Thank you. Hold up. Can I- I can skip through this, I think. <gasps> okay. Well, uh, I mean, I can skip through the text so it shouldn't take too much- <gasps> <gasps> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Skip this. <laughs> oh my god, wait, I have to go through all this again? Hold up. Let's see how long this takes. I'm gonna try and speed through this. <laughs> You're welcome, Gamma. <laughs> You're good just, you know, you know, just practicing my reacts. That's all, that's all. Okay. Oh, and I'm gonna skip through that. <laughs> wow, y'all, let's speed run. Time to speed run the game. I'm ready. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> okay, okay. What uh, What now? Wow, there's so much to get there. Hi, Shiki, hey. What's up, let's make a pack. All right, let's hurry it up. All right, okay, I gotta go, I gotta go. I've got things to do. <laughs> I gotta go. <laughs> okay. Can't speed through battles. Here we go. Voice acting, right? Right, it's the pinnacle, it's the pinnacle. Oh, I have to wait for it to load now. Okay. Cool. Nice. Who's next? <laughs> Recording this as an audition tape. Thank you. Please send it out to all of, all of your um, voice casting directors. I would appreciate that. Thank you so much. <laughs> no, Gamma. Me too. Me too. I, I would laugh at this kind of stuff too. <laughs> oh my god. That's why I was doing it. <laughs> it was making me laugh. <laughs> okay. Wow, look at this. We're just speed running. We're go through, going through the game so fast. Okay, so nose glasses? <laughs> Froggos! <laughs> yeah, she just, she's so into those frogs, you know? Um, let's see. Why don't I just get a guide? The world ends with you. Uh, 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 reports. Huh? Huh? Okay, let's see. What exactly are the secret reports? There are documents written by a certain Mr. H about the back, uh, background story that you don't actually get to see in the main portion of the game. They go pretty in depth and explain a lot, so are therefore worth reading slash achieving. Awesome. Okay. Just give me a guide. Why not? We'll just speed through this. Hello? Um. Can you just tell me how to do it? Why is this guide so complicated? Easily accomplished. Just talk to the statue of Hachiko. Get the nose glasses? Huh? What? 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 Hold on. Oh! <laughs> We're here. We're here. Oh my god. Huh? What's this box? <gasps> oh snap! Hell yeah! <laughs> Hell yeah! We did. How in God's name was I supposed to know what the frick? This novelty item is funny enough to reduce some folks to tears on sight. Try it as a pick-me-up when you're feeling down. Aw, that's nice. That's nice. World, world record pace, right? We're speeding through. We're gonna set the new world record. Uh, I hate guides that overcomplicate themselves. Yeah, it, there was just a lot of text and it wasn't spaced very well, but um, I, I just had to look at one tiny place to find the, the right information. So I did it. So wait, sorry, what, now what? Now I did the thing where do I read the stuff? <laughs> wait. I don't have to finish the chapter, I'm assuming. Oh, wait, so I did it. Complete the following to view this. Oh, and it shows up here. Oh, interesting. Okay. Cool. Well, we did it. Let's read this report. Wow, seriously? That's pretty crazy, Cravan. Wow. Dang. It sounds like you gotta play real fast, be super good at fights. Sounds pretty difficult. Okay, let's read through this. As is common knowledge, all games in the UG take place under our supervision. However, this particular game is saddled with a nigh unbelievable set of extenuating circumstances, catching the attention of the higher plane. Thus, I shall be taking a more hands-on role this time, as detailed in this report. The core differences in this game are as follows. Can I? Okay. 
its role in plans for Shibuya's destruction. Okay, so it's, they're planning to destroy Shibuya, which we, we realized. Um, the composer's absence from the UG. Composer is... Joshua, right? Okay, so the resulting limitations to his powers, because he limited himself, and the game being played by a proxy, which he chose us. Okay. The composer has informed me of two major points, that he plans to destroy the UG, but also that his final decision will hinge on the outcome of his game with the conductor. Okay, and it was him versus Shades. Okay. A provisional rule for this game requires the composer to vacate the underground. Huh? The composer, aka Joshua, vacate underground. Leave underground? Destroy underground? Clear out underground? What? Okay, okay. Can I can I do a different arrow for this? No, I have I have to select this. Okay. It is unprecedented for the composer to be absent during a game. I cannot predict what effect it may have. Furthermore, the composer must lower the frequency of his vibe to travel from the UG to the RG, inevitably curtailing his abilities. Okay. This makes investigating the conductor and his strategy incredibly difficult, as the composer is still the only one who knows who and what I am. Ooh, okay. Composer aware of what Hanekoma is. Who and what Hanekoma is. Who are you? Who are you? It means lingering in the UG to author reports carries a lethal risk. Okay. The greatest randomizer in the current game is the use of a hand-picked proxy to compete against the conductor in the composer's stead. No information on this person exists at present. While the situation seems dire, I believe the key to getting ahead of all of this is at hand. Okay. Okay. Oh, sorry. Let me look over and take a break. Hi there, Desi. Welcome, welcome. It's good to see you. Hi there. Uh, if you've read this, I can tell you what that thing I got wrong back then and explain the ending to you. Okay, well, let's let's go through the reports, reports for now. Hopefully, this this seems like it'll actually start explaining a lot, but I appreciate that, Desi. We can talk about it later. Um, but welcome. How's it going? I hope your weekend went well. How are you doing? Okay. You see, time always builds upon the past. I have already located our key. It is a pin request from the conductor. Okay, the key is the pin request, which is the design of the player pin and or the red skull version of it. Okay, normally the psych manifestations of pins are determined by one's imagination. Psych manifestations determined by imagination. Okay, thus by analyzing the pin, the user's imagination or rather their true intentions are revealed. Okay. Unfortunately, this order came through the composer and never came into con uh, contact with the conductor. Thus, I could not use it to determine the nature of his imagination. Ah, okay. I too have lowered my vibe to tune into the UG, limiting my abilities. However, at this stage, realizing that this pin holds the key is sufficient. The possibility of forestalling the plans for the UG's destruction remains. Dang, dude, this is a lot of information. That was a lot of information. There's a heck of a lot of reports. Okay, I'll do my best. I'll do my best to speed through this. Let's do it. And if we ever want to take a break, that is also a thing we can do. For now, I I'm enjoying learning more about this. Let's do it. Okay, um... I would very much like a different guide that just tells me exactly how to do it. <laughs> Instead of all this extra info of what it says on there, because I'll be able to read it for myself. Guide. Okay. Day two. Here we go. Track down, eliminate all, all of the chapter's pig symbols. Okay, but it'll tell me where it is in there. Get the sailor suit. Yup, he's a monumental freak. What? Probably to talk to a monument. I bet that's what they mean. Okay. Hello? Go in there. <laughs> oh, Desi God. <laughs> I'm glad that you enjoyed that, though. Good times. Uh, very, very terrible. Very terrible. Why are, why are you bringing that up? It's terrible. I gotta shoot off for a bit. We'll come back later if you're still around. Awesome! Thanks for coming in today, Gamma. Hope you enjoy whatever you gotta do. Get, take care of whatever you need to do. Thanks, Gabe, for coming in. I'll see you later, maybe. Okay. <gasps> I love it. I really want to voice in any game ever. Hopefully, hopefully I'm taking steps to do that. But I, I'm specifically saying any game ever where I just make these noises, these grunts and things like that, I, I want to do that. I want to do random noises to be like, Ugh. <gasps> <laughs> I want to do that. It sounds so fun. Anyways, um, so I want to go to West Bus Terminal and Statue of Hachiko and also, okay. So I got to move on is basically what's going on here. Okay. So then I go here, activate a cutscene. They'll be like, oh my god, there's a wall. 
what am I supposed to do? And then the guy's like, hey, you gotta scan the area after we talk to him. Okay. We're like, oh, let's try scanning him. <gasps> what? We can't scan him. Hmm. Y'all, we're also speedrunning through the story. Just getting a good old recap, you know? This is the recap um, mo montage episode. <laughs> okay, so... Oh, oh, this is the point where I could put on more pins. That'll help. That'll speed things on a little bit. Okay. Oh, wait. Oh, I have all my pins. I forgot. They don't actually start me over. I actually have all my pins. Okay. I can't chain those, so I gotta do these ones. Oh, I can! Oh my god, hell yeah. I'm so glad. Okay. Oh, wait. Oh, they limit me. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. You're good as gone. Come on. Didn't she said I could try a bunch of other pins though, but I don't seem to have it. Okay. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Thank you for the money. Appreciate. It. I gotta. I gotta go. I gotta go. I got places to go. Huh? Okay. And then we're gonna break down this wall. Um. <laughs> it's really funny seeing this all sped up. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> Crevan, oh my god. <laughs> Jesus. I'm not sure if I mentioned it, but there was a stream where the voices of Tubi and 9S played through the entirety of Near Automata, and at the end credits, someone in chat mentioned anime grunts, so they both started doing them. <laughs> it didn't make for a very Christian household stream. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, that's so funny. Oh my god. I love Kira Buckton. She's, she's awesome. That's great, though. Um... I'd link it, but it's such a massive spoiler for Nier Automata. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, no worries. I might check it out later just because I, I don't know if I'm ever going to play the game, but that's that sounds hilarious. That sounds great. <laughs> it does sound very wrong out of context, but in context, you need you need to make weird noises. You need to do it. It's necessary. It makes the, the scene natural. Okay. But I remember um Brian... Uh, Huh? Our, our friend who pops up on our channel sometimes he he mentioned he's also a voice actor he mentioned a couple times that like he had to go into a session and make a bunch of grunts too and he felt really embarrassed <laughs> i'm sure he's used to it by now though i'm sure he's gotten enough practice and jobs where he's used to it but i can imagine that being very difficult <laughs> oh crap damn it i have it clipped i think oh okay well um you could, you could either DM it or, I don't know. Yeah, we don't want everybody to get spoiled on that, so either way. Okay, so it said to talk to him, but at what point? See, I think, okay, I'm gonna just try it one more time. Okay, I'm assuming I gotta, okay, let's get rid of the, the pig here first. Where is it? It's usually in a very far corner of the screen. Um, thanks, dude. Thanks, dude. I'll ch I'll check it out later because that sounds great. Where the heck is it? Ah, come on. I wanted to speed through this. Please, Piggy Doys, where are you at? Where? I don't even hear it. I heard it earlier. Is it in this end? Crap. Okay. Peggy? No? Peggy? Please. <laughs> Please. Oh, cool, Desi. I'm glad. I'm glad that you got through it. Hell yeah, man. It's it's a good series. It's real fun. And also terrible and also heart wrenching, but. <laughs> That's awesome to hear, though. Where the hell is this little pig? Where is it? Oh my god, there it is. Jesus Christmas. Okay. Watch yourself. It's been a while since I've had to ski. Okay. Yeah, that was great. Yeah, that was great. Why did it go that quickly because it's on easy or because I'm just super strong now? Oopsie. Open up your so I, okay, then I just have to advance and go to the, wait, 
This is the west bus terminal, and then, the okay, Statue of Hachiko, just the next area. So hopefully once we break open the next area, that should be it. For the Z section. Okay. I did a couple of HP potions following YouTube uh, uh, do-it-yourselves. HP as in health potions or Harry Potter potions or what kinds of potions did you make? That sounds interesting and fun. How did, how did the end result go? I've been wanting to do a lot more crafts lately. That sounds fun. Sometimes I'll, I'll get into crafting mode. I went through like a knitting phase. I knit like crazy. I made a bunch of fairly impressive things. Um, I was trying to learn macrame lately, but it's, it's pretty difficult. It's just a bunch of tying knots in very pretty ways. Um, I should, get, I should get back into trying that, though. If I just follow a tutorial of how to tie knots, I think I should be able to do it. It takes a lot of good tension work, though. Anyways, crafts are fun. I like crafts. <laughs> or Monster Hunter potions! There's also that. There's also that. Come on. Okay, let's get through this. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned, but... Wait, can I, can I get a uniform from him yet? <laughs> Does he say anything different? You're all better now, I'm so glad. He can tell? In a way, that's pretty impressive. Hey, Hachiko seems down lately. Okay, wait, no, he's mentioning Hachiko now. Oh, wait, what? Oh, I skipped through it! <laughs> well, either way, somehow we ended up getting a, a sailor uniform by talking- Why are we getting a bunch of women's clothing and also strange accessories and articles of clothing from these events? Why? Why is this happening? Oh, purity! Remember the days of dress code? One look at this uniform reminds you of that bittersweet day you stood in the rain. Oh, wow, that sounds so sentimental. That sounds so sentimental. Anyways, I don't know if I ever mentioned I went to um, the Monster Hunter Cafe in, uh... Was it Shinjuku? Shinjuku. Not Shibuya. Yeah, Shinjuku, I think. Maybe? Anyways, it was really cool, and I ordered a drink set that uh, looked like the potions and stuff, so it was pretty cool. It was just, um... They brought something in like a jar, mason jar, I think? I don't quite remember. Or was it a... I don't know. But they had like three vials that were colored, the, the different potion colors that I could toss in to change the flavoring colors. It was pretty cool. I liked it. Uh, Harry Potter potions. I did... Wait, liquid... What? Luck? I can't even pronounce those. Amortentia? Wolf's Bane? Or how's it called? Okay, I don't know which ones those are, but awesome. That sounds like a lot of fun. Do you, do you just make them to make it look cool and have it decorate somewhere? Or... Can you actually drink it? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. You tell me. I don't know what kind of thing they would help you DIY. <laughs> Thank you, Leon. Thank you. I don't, I don't know. Oh, good job on what? Go, going to a Monster Hunter Cafe? Thank you. so. Or, or getting women's clothing. Uh, finding women's clothing on the street. Either way, thank you, Leon. <laughs> but yeah, it was really cool. It was really cool. I like that cafe a lot. Uh, I don't even like love potions because using them... What? Oh god! The heck, that's some extreme stuff you suddenly just said. Okay. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, so it's like pretty. That's interesting. Let's see, what was I doing? Um... What I need to do now is get rid of the other pig noise and I think we're good to go. Which, will it even show up? Maybe it won't show up until I unlock the noise floating around in this area. Yeah, because I can't hear it. Hold up. It would just be in the corner somewhere. Hmm. Oh, I, he I heard it! I heard it! Can I can I not see it until I unlock other noise in here? I'm going to assume that that is the case. Okay. Um. Take a closer look, I guess. I forgot what I had to do last time. So then we leave. Exit. Okay. And then look at it again. And scout for more info, if I recall correct. Oh, well, I guess I have to say everything. Hachi Fest is when you go to a festival and you touch the statue and you get good luck. But if you don't touch the right place, you die. There we go. I summarized that conversation for you. You are absolutely welcome. Noise? No? Yes? No? Aw, Leon, thank you. Okay, cool. You, you covered all your bases. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. I will be the, be the best axis that I can be. Um, here, I was thinking Harry Potter featured cartoon heart battles. That sounds amazing. I don't know what that means, but that sounds amazing. <laughs> 
<laughs> Wait, what? What? What are you talking about, Desi? <laughs> okay. Does that work now? Does this work? Please. Oh my god. Y'all, what should I do? There it is! Oh my god, it was just barely hiding off screen. Oh my god. It'll be over in an instant. There we go. Come on, come on. Get in there, get in there. Perfect. Awesome. Um... What? Uh, then would have had to pay copyright to Persona 5 and Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> Copy your- oh, heart battles. Got it, got it. Uh, I'm not making potions, but I've tried to put together a cheap isopropyl alcohol solar still. I do not know what that even is to reuse it, but I screwed up and today my entire apartment just smells like alcohol. Oh no. <laughs> oh no, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. You learned. You learned from your experimentation. Uh, let's see chapters so that should be everything okay yeah that's okay that's everything so let's read it um let's see okay well uh you need to use rubbing alcohol to clean the 3d prints oh i see i see i see <laughs> my main concern is is less getting high and more exploding yeah that seems uh that seems pretty important <laughs> all right let's get through this one as the game was set to end, I felt an intense burst of soul. And at its source, I found the composer's hand-pricked po- Hand-pricked! Yes! You prick them by hand. You, you prick them personally. That's what you do. I found the composer's hand-picked proxy, one Neku Sakuraba. Let it be noted that once danger was passed, the soul he expelled rapidly tapered off. I shall define soul as it exists in the UG later. For now, let it suffice to say, it is the energy he bears within him. Okay, an intense burst of soul from Neku. His unstable soul is the result of a rift between his body and emotional mind. This discord can be traced to a few causes. His dense and all-inclusive soul composition, all-inclusive, okay. Emotional confusion inhibiting the unity of his emotional self and physical body, okay. And the exacerbation of that confusion by memory loss due to his entry fee. Okay, emotional confusion inhibit inhibiting the unity, okay. Because he's like, I'm evil and I hate everyone! So it, like, causes a lot of problems. It would cause problems for anybody. However, anyone possessing such diverse soul can become a formidable wielder of imagination. The composer was right to choose this boy. All right. Shibuya's fate may rest on how well he manages to stabilize his soul. To measure his stability, I have gave him a harmonizer pin. Oh? Oh, it can only be used when he cooperates with his partner. Oh, okay. Okay, so that's the sync pin that we got. Uh, it's it helped us immeasurably throughout the entire game. So thanks for that mr. H Synchronizing with another hinges on his ability to first stabilize his own soul thus successful use of the pin would indicate He has made progress on that front. Oh hell yeah The further he's able to push his and his partner's psych resonance through fusion the greater his own internal stability stability will have become The progress of his soul merits close observation henceforth. Awesome. Perfect. Okay, cool All right Let's jump in. My original plan was to use stove or hot plate, but then I realized rubbing alcohol in a heat source like that was a very, very, very bad idea. <laughs> nice, dude. <laughs> That's fine, just become a zombie, yeah. When you're a zombie, then you can do anything. Then it'll be fine. Oh. Hello. Out of whack. Hi there. What's up? All right, I'll see you later. Okay. <laughs> that tone and imagination killed me. What? Yeah, well, SpongeBob, you know, SpongeBob, you gotta do it. <laughs> okay, let me check on this. Let's see. Pig noise. Wait, what? Do, what did I? I had something already. I had something already. Oh, just oh, collect the report for two. Got it. So, you caught the imprint ramen on the tech at Shibuku Main Store. Okay. And boss symbol number 88 at the concert stage. Okay. This one sounds more complicated already. Oh, sorry. I'm not even entirely sure if you can get drunk on rubbing alcohol, but I've accidentally inhaled too much of the past at a burning throat. <laughs> Definitely sounds like it's very painful in all aspects because of, like, the uses of it, you know? It's gotta burn you. It's gotta clean you. 
Cleanse the soul. Okay. Thank you, Desi. I'm so glad. Concert stage? Wait, 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 a gosh darn second. Oh, no. That sounds like it'll be kind of time consuming. I'll do my best. I'll do my best. I'm gonna speed this up. Hi, dude. That's interesting. So he doesn't show up with wings here, but he ends up showing off his wings later. Why does he bother trying to hide them from us in the first place? Maybe because we'd treat him differently if we knew he's a reaper or something. The sound that it makes when it's fast forwarding is pretty satisfying, I have to admit. Okay. There are so many places to go to. Uh, you are not letting me through. All right, fantastic. What about you? Want to pass this wall, defeat this noise, and then we're gonna sink stuff, and it's gonna be great. That's kind of interesting. He, the report about the sink pin comes after. I guess you can't get any of the reports like during the game, or rather, it comes before you even get the sink pin. So that's kind of interesting. Okay, they're just they're just getting the heck ahead of themselves. All right. Here we go. He sure is quite a character. He's got so many mysteries behind him. Uh, all set. I don't know if I should do either of the other things I didn't do in another day. Um, the boss tower. I'm assuming there's... I feel like I remember something pretty significant from that segment, but I don't know if I should pursue it. I have no clues. I have no ideas. If anything, I could prepare to uh, swap games after a break. I can just pursue this for, for as long as I feel. And we can we can swap on over uh, later on. Okay. Oh, uh, that's enough. Thanks. So there's a pig noise in this map. And I also need to get the word ramen. Which I think this girl has. Yeah. Oh, wait, no, this girl- Oh, this girl's for- th No, throat. This girl's for throat medicine. So, I had to look it up. Because I was like, there's cough drops that you could give to 777, and he's, like, got a sore throat. I was like, how do I get the cough drops? And it turns out you had to talk to that girl that, um, was standing still. I don't know if there are other situations like that in this entire game, but I never noticed that some NPCs just don't move and would be important. I thought that was kind of interesting, though, that they did do that. Found you. Found you, a little jerk. Come here. Come here. We can do this, Neku. All right. Wow. That used to be so hard. That used to be so hard to beat up. I am like a thousand levels higher than I used to be when I was first here, so it makes sense. But gosh dang, these little pegs. Okay, so that was one thing. Um, I have to get ramen. Okay. So, first of all, I have to learn about memes. We don't know what memes are, do, do we? At this point, I can't remember, actually. Actually, no, we, I think we know what memes are by this point. Because I did skip getting memes Thank you. for the entirety of chapter two, I think, so. Okay. We know memes. We know what memes are. Okay, and then he's like, oh, I gotta go do some stuff, and we're gonna talk to him. <gasps> Okay, and let's get rid of this. Okay. Are you replaying the Great Garden? Nice. Nice. It's it, They have a new game plus function for that? That's actually kind of interesting to hear. But yeah, it, that's always nice when it like, it carries over and you can just speed through so you can do some other stuff. Pretty nice. I don't know a lot of games where I've actually bothered to do the new game pluses though. Trying to think about it. There have definitely been some games where I'm like, hell yeah, I want to go back and do that again with my newfound powers! But not often do I want to go back immediately after. Because we already talked about this. I Once I play something, it's hard for me to play and or watch it again so soon after. Uh, where do I get... Thank you. Where do I get the ramen meme? It'll show up. It'll show up. I'm just speeding through everything, so it'll show up. Um, get it from somebody. Okay, so I bring you back and we're going to figure out... 
that you need to get the goddamn fuse. You Nimrod, right? You Nimrod. Okay. I think he goes over here. Yes. Want past this wall? Two of these. Okay, got it. No problem. I'll beat them up in an instant. Let's do it. I was disappointed because you can't level up anymore in Grey Garden specifically. This won't be hard. I got stuck instead at level 47 or something. Oh, wow. That's crazy. Is that the one where it's the same arch as like Mogekko Mogek Castle and stuff? Or am I thinking of a different one? I can't quite remember at the moment. Am I missing? I think I'm missing this thing. Hello? Can we? Hello? There we go. It was stuck in there. Easy. I think I, uh, now that I think about it, I think I went back to, to try and play Tales of Symphonia on a, on a New Game Plus. I remember there being like a crazy optional boss or something like that. There was a lot of cool stuff in there. But it was, it was fun to go back and have some things carry over for that. I wonder which game started coming up with that concept of New Game Pluses. They were just like, please play our game forever! Oh, okay, okay, well, I don't know how to- yeah, 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 so it's the same- same author. Cool, got it, got it, got it. Time to find out! Hell yeah, Cravan, go pursue that knowledge for me. Share- share with the class. <laughs> Wait, oh, now they talk about memes. Now they talk about memes. Okay, so it's this part. What's a meme? Huh? Okay. And the manga- oh, they just made a- straight up made a manga by itself, too, huh? That's pretty cool. Um, I didn't know about that. Oh. I always liked their art, so that's- that's pretty neat. Okay, Blackout. Where do I get ramen? I'm gonna imprint. Tap. And talk about blackout. I'm gonna shut down and do something. Wow, we tried memes. Okay, let's try it on that guy. So, how do I get the word ramen? Um, so, imprint ramen on the tech at the CBQ main store. So, he's already here. So, I want to get the... I think I want to get the word... Ramen right now. And then I don't need to come here until the boss is here, so... Do I need to talk to you for anything? Oh, Fuse. Okay, Fuse is there, so I get Fuse. So I got a new word. Ramen would probably come from the ramen guy. That would make sense. Well, the term New Game Plus comes from tr Chrono Trigger, at least. Oh, okay, really? Okay, well, that, that would make sense. That would make sense. I feel like that's definitely a game you would need to replay. But, um, okay, cool, cool. Okay, ramen. Okay, hell yeah. Let's do this. They have a lot of universes, too, but he does not put the game, uh, them into games or stuff, uh, even in, if they have cameos of their characters in other games. Oh, that's pretty cool. That's awesome. He's got a lot of really, really great character designs, so they're really nice. Okay. So we're gonna imprint ramen onto you. Ramen? Actually, I am kind of hungry. Yeah, I stopped in for lunch and left before I could eat. I won't make that mistake again. Time to get my noodle on. We just totally distracted him from his work. Well, I have to hurry. And away he goes. Maybe he'll buy the part now, or maybe he won't. We better follow him. That is so funny. We completely distracted him from his task. That's terrible. Okay, but I'm assuming that should trigger... I think I have to check on him first, though. Look! He just went inside! Let's move. Oh, okay. So if I did the normal thing, which I did during my first run of this, well, I just gave him Fuse. So she's like, oh, he just ran inside! So we would assume Cosmic Corner, but he actually ran into the ramen shop this time because I imprinted him with ramen! <laughs> Neku, there he is! He's not buying the, uh, he's not buying the part! He's, he's eating? There you are! The Ramen Don Special! Wait, eat up before it gets cold! Wait just a sec. Uh, oh, crap! I'm supposed to be picking up the part! Wait, sir, your noodles! Oh, I can't win. Aw, oh, ramen guy, it's fine. Young people just won't eat old-fashioned noodles. Neku, after him! Oh, here we go. Oh, now we find the object. Huh? What's this box? Oh, snap! 
What did we get this time? Oh my god. Why are we getting so many women's clothing? Summer, festivals, fireworks. Wear this on that balmy summer eve. You plan to steal your honey's heart for good. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Ready for battle. Ready for some love battles. Okay, so there's that. Sweet, dude. That is so funny. Holy cow. Um... NES Legend of Zelda has a new game plus, though. Just called it Second Quest. Oh, okay, okay. Cool, cool. So it, da it dated pretty far back, actually, this concept. Uh, there are these useless chicks who don't help the MC or anything and are just mad because one of them lost their phone. They're from Obsolete Dream. I think I remember them. I think I remember them. One of them was like a DJ or something. Uh, Super Mario Bros. has it, too, where if you replay the game, the enemies are replaced with harder enemies. Oh! I don't know if I ever recalled that, but I did play that when I was, like, very, very, very young. So that's that's interesting. First game with a traditional style New Game Plus, where you keep the progress you made on a character and replay a game, is Zelda 2. Oh, okay. Although I'm sure there are tons of less-known games that have some variant of it that predates Zelda. That's interesting. Okay, okay. Cool, cool. Don't you mean heart battles? You're right. You're right. Heart battles. That's the official name now. So I'm going to wear my yukata, go into gear for some heart battles. You know, going to steal the heart of some honeys. <laughs> Uh, okay, I'm just gonna- I might as well do this real fast. Okay, so I think I can get this word from her if I just talk to her. Okay. So we get- we get cough drops. Okay, I might as well do this since I'm here, and I gotta get to the end anyways. So we're gonna go ahead- oopsie- and give him cough drops. And he's gonna go grab them. I think he- I don't think I imprinted Blackout on him yet, which is bad, because he does need to know that. Wait, where is he? Shoot, where'd he go? Okay, can I give him Fuse immediately, or does he need to know about the Blackout? I keep thinking and I keep drawing a blank. Can I give him Fuse immediately? Let me see. Will he react? Okay, perfect, perfect. He got it, he got it. I don't think I needed to imprint Blackout, so... And I think he comes here and gets it? Awesome, sweet! So I think that's solved. And now it's time to kick this bat's ass because it destroyed me before, but not this time. Hell yeah. <laughs> How is everything I do become a meme somehow? What? What do you mean? <laughs> uh, oh God, the heart battle part. With all your women's clothing plus mustache glasses. Oh my god, the ultimate sedu seduction combo. Oh my god, it's gonna get all the honeys. They're gonna enjoy that so much. <laughs> oh my god. Wait, wait! I got the part! Okay, so I wanted to... I will, but first! Okay, so this is just new because I, I never got the cough drops before. What? I thought you could use these before the show. Cough drops? I've really been looking forward to your concert! Go on. Get out of here. Okay, so that's that's the only extra thing. All right! I don't know why that happens. Like, what that changes. Yeah, I don't know what that changes. It's just kind of cute and nice that, that he got him some cough drops and he's looking forward to his, his concert. That's pretty sweet. Okay. Uh, what am I doing? I'm doing something. Oh, okay. What? Okay, okay, here we go. This is be gonna be instant, in instant, instantaneous. We're gonna do it. You're good as gone. You're good as gone. Okay, so I need to make Ski attack until she goes upwards. Go, go. Come on, do your full combo and go up. There you go. I know exactly how to do this fight. You're not gonna vanquish me this time. Hell yeah. Okay. Come on. All right, get that light open. Perfect, perfect. All right, now over here. You got this, girl. I believe in you. Sweet. That should be it. All right. All right, here we go. Can I do this in one go? Probably not. I'm, I'm not attacking. I'm not attacking. This is bad. I actually don't even know what difficulty this is on now. Well, nope. Nope. That was too little time to do anything. All right. Ski, you can do this. I messed up. Y'all, I messed up. I don't think I can change the difficulty now. I messed up. I was supposed to do this on hard. I think if I if I quit out and come back, it should bring me right before this battle. Yeah, actually it should it should do that. <laughs> sorry, sorry, hold on, sorry. That was my mistake. <laughs> I was like, wait, something's missing here. <laughs>
<laughs> Good times. Oh my god. Okay, I just re-entered the game and everything's fine. Everything's fine. I think I have to set the, the Joy-Con again. Sorry, I'm a failure. Sorry. <laughs> Good job, me. Thank God this game auto-saves. Yes, Square Square Enix. Enix! Square Enix! Square Enix! Square Enix! Okay, perfect. Awesome. Time to change the difficulty. Oh, it's already... Oh my god. You guys, has it been on hard this whole time? Is that why a new day was so hard? <laughs> has it been on hard this whole time? Oh my god. Is that why that boss was unbearably difficult? I am a fool. I am a fool. Well, that means I didn't mess up and actually I came in on the right mode. Good. Good. <laughs> oh my god. No wonder everything was so difficult in a new day. Jesus. <laughs> Axis was secretly playing the Dark Souls of the World Ends with you. Right? Right? Just shows how good you are. Thank you. Thank you, Leon. I was really struggling. It was super hard. <laughs> I had to resort to easy on some of them because it was just so difficult. Oh my god. I'm a fool. A DJ is a character in Obsolete Dream, but she also appears in every game. Oh, okay. Uh, there's a hidden record in every game. If you find it to put it on the bonus room, you unlock scenes what? of the DJ interviewing the MC of the game. That's really cute. That's such a cute idea. I like that. <laughs> Thanks, Desi. Thanks. So actually, I'm doing pretty decent damage for it being on hard. It makes sense. This is like the very first boss of the series. Yeah. Okay, no problem, no problem. I got this, I got this. Come on, just, yeah, just, just punch Mr. Mew and mess him up! Mess him up, Mr. Mew! <laughs> it's such a cute little doll, though. I really like it. Okay, okay, perfect, perfect. Yes! Are we done? Are we done? Yes, go. I have not done your snake attack in so long. Okay. No axes, you're not supposed to pick the middle picture. The middle picture is supposed to tell you where what to pick. Oopsie. Okay, okay. Uh crap. There we go. And uh 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 um heart stars, horseshoes, clovers, and blue moons, pots of golden rainbows, and a red balloon. Okay, perfect. Please die instantaneously. Please do so. Whoa, that did so much wow. Holy cow! <laughs> Whoa, dude! Works for me! Works for me! Okay, hell yeah. Whoa! Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> Sweet! Thanks for coming in! Alright, let's end this cutscene. I gotta go. I've I gotta keep a schedule. I'll see you later. <laughs> Alright, I'll pencil you in for 2 o'clock. Come on, come here. Hell yeah. Wow. Y'all, I'm, I'm gonna get some epilepsy, some form of that, by looking at this for too long. Oh, jeez. Okay. So it brings me to the next day. I just need to get to a menu, please. Oh my god. <laughs> I forgot that there was this many cutscenes. It makes sense, though. It makes sense. There's a lot of important... Plot details, I gotta tell you. Mm -hmm. Um. <laughs> um. <laughs> Sounds like she's having an emotional breakdown. All right, perfect. What? Oh, come on. What? Oh, come on. What? Did I? Did I? It was on hard. Why didn't it count? <laughs> Wait. What? What? Okay. Welp. <laughs> Welp. You know what? Now that I'm looking at the requirements, I do think it would take quite a bit. I'd have to revisit like the entire chapter because it's telling me about the boss symbols. Perhaps that is where I will have to stop pursuing the reports. 
because I think it's gonna take quite a bit. I could skip and get some of the easy ones, but let's see, hold on. Uh, beat day one. Beat day one's pretty difficult already. Whoopsie. What is this one? Can I skip the order? I think I can. I can skip the order. Killjoy, welcome, welcome. What the heck is that? What is that? I can't. Uh, I can't tell. I can't. All I can make out is the Santa hat, but I'm not sure what it's sitting on. It's, it's good, though. Thank you for greeting me with that. I appreciate it. <laughs> Hi, Killjoy. Welcome, welcome. How are you? It's not just me getting the frame drops, right? Ooh, that's not good. That is bad. I, I don't know why that would be happening, but let me know if it continues to be an egregious problem. Um, <laughs> He just makes nicknames for them. <laughs> Sushi! Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> terrible, Desi. Terrible. Oh my goodness. <laughs> um, let's see. Here, let me try and just get this one easy one really fast. Uh-oh. This is Joshua. Here. Let me let me just try and get this one real fast. So I think I'm gonna have to stop after that because most of them require beating the boss, it seems. Like something that would take quite a bit of time. You'd have to go through the entire day again in order to complete them and get them. Okay. It said, uh, talk to examine statue of Hachiko. Okay. It's right on the screen. So all I heard was let continue egregious. I'm so glad. I'm so glad that it patched it together like that for you. <laughs> oh my God. All right. Let's revisit. Oh, hello. Good to meet you for the first time. God. Good to see you. Jesus. <laughs> now we know. Now we know your dirty secret. You're good as God. Oh, VX, thank you for explaining that. Oh my god. So there was a there was a boss symbol sitting there? I had no idea. Still though, I feel like it would be quite lengthy. Also welcome. Hello there. How are you doing? Thank you so much for coming in today. Would it be worth pursuing? I don't know. That's why you didn't get the day three one because you fought the bat instead of the extra boss. I thought it was the boss. I didn't realize it was an extra boss. <laughs> oh man, I don't know if um, y'all want to sit through me going trying to do that again because I feel like that would take quite a while. Let's see. Well, this one's right here. So, huh? What's this box? <gasps> oh snap! Women's clothing. Oh, oh, a potted plant. This little guy will melt your stress away. Take heart from its tiny red flowers set in feng shui to bring good luck. Nice. Hell yeah, dude. Okay, bye. Joshua, I don't even have to talk to you. Oopsie, I didn't mean to do that. Okay. I don't even have to talk to you. Let's see. All right. Uh, the emote is a dog with a Santa hat lurking. Oh, let me look at it again. I see it now. Okay, okay. Got it. That is so funny. Thank you for explaining that. I appreciate it. <laughs> and hey yo, everyone. Yes, hello there. Neku found Jesus, right? Right? He found some Jesus and God in his life. Well, I don't... Neku forced to replay the game, scrambles to find another partner. Okay, this is just a summary of this day. Oh, I, I, it skipped. But let's read it anyway for fun. As predicted by the composer, his proxy has entered the game a second time. Okay. The proxy has proven his aptitude and will be joined in the next game by the composer himself as his new partner. Damn! It just went and said it. It just goes and says it. There are three reasons behind the composer's choice of actions. To ascertain the conductor's strategy, to educate his proxy, and to protect him. Um... Uh... With his return to the UG, the limits on the composer's abilities will be relaxed. However, using his abilities could reveal his identity. And that's why he didn't want to use his, like, ultimate god angel attack. Because he's like, oh, well, you might find out that I'm actually all powerful and really awesome. As such, he will need to continue to limit himself for a while longer. This presents a certain set of risks. The greatest risk, however, lies with the composer joining the proxy for this game. 
The composer's presence, his tremendously high vibe, will place a great deal of physical and psychological strain on the proxy. Furthermore, the proxy's victory in the previous game has won him back his memory. Okay. This self-actualization loop binding the proxy is thus stronger than ever, more deeply ensconced, even than the envy, uh, even than the envy cleared from Shiki in the previous game. There is a possibility of the proxy soul destabilizing, negating its progress during the previous game. Slight problems. Is that why? Is that why Neku sounded like he was regressing during certain points of Joshua's chapters? Oh my god. I don't think I'm overthinking that. That's probably why. Because, yeah, he was like, he made so much progress as a kind, nice person who cares about other people with Shiki. And then it sounded like he was regressing in Joshua's days. And I thought it was like weird, inconsistent writing, but maybe there was an actual reason behind it. Huh. Slight problems also persist with the proxy's personality. How long will the proxy be able to bear being side by side with the composer? I just certainly wanted to choke his face, a, you know, a lot. Wanted to punch his lights out a lot. So I understand, it was, it was difficult. <laughs> oh my God, okay. Welp, I don't know if I'm going to be doing all these because I think there's quite a bit to get through. I may just take a break here and swap games, but I don't know. What do y'all think? What do y'all think? I can do my best to get, to get through them, but I don't know if you'd be interested. <laughs> Look, you make it work. You make it work, Desi. Don't question it. <laughs> oh my god. What I think is that I need to do that smart thing and sleep now, so I'm off. Sounds like a plan, Gravan. Sounds like a plan. Thanks for sticking around, though, uh, during the beginning of the stream, so I appreciate that. Go the heck to sleep, dude. You gotta... Yes, yeah, you're like three hours ahead, right? Do it. I, I believe in you. <laughs> Thanks so much again for being here today. Appreciate it. I'll see you next time. Good night. Good night. It's 2.30 a.m. Yeah. It's prayer light. Prayer light there. Okay. Um, let me think. <laughs> I gotta get up. Uh, let's see. Don't let anyone choke your face in your sleep. <laughs> and beware of heart battles. Nice. Nice. Good things to be uh, aware of. I gotta get up at 6 a.m. Wednesday, so I'd rather not sleep at 6 a.m. today. Good plan. Good plan. Do, do it ahead of time. <laughs> All right, y'all. I think I might just take a break here and try and set up the next game. Um, I don't know how well it's gonna go, but I can attempt to do that. <laughs> so, I guess maybe I'll come back to this in the future. Um, if we want to get more bits of lore, but I guess we'll take a break from it for today. So, um, for now, prematurely, thanks so much for joining me for The World Ends With You. Technically, we finished it, and we went through a new day and got that very abrupt ending that teased a possible sequel. So, we went through it together. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, the next game, so I, um, was gonna set it up next time because I wasn't expecting to start it today, but I have a game that I really enjoyed the first game of called Yomowari. Um, the subtitle for the first game was Yomowari Night Alone. I don't remember, I think the second one is called Midnight Shadows. You don't really need to know the first one to like be able to get the story of the, sec the second one, I'm assuming. Um, there's not super much of a story in the first one. There kind of is, but you can explain it very basically. So uh, that is the game that I was interested in because we played the first game on our channel and the second one I just noticed recently. I don't know how long it's been out, but yes. <laughs> Call of Duty, finally? You're right. Actually, VX, I lied. We're actually playing Call of Duty. You're right. Because <laughs> I tricked y'all. I was like, oh, I'll give you a hint. The game that I'm going to play next, which was The World Ends With You, came out on this day. And y'all were like, Call of Duty? I, you know, I, I didn't follow through on that, but I will now. <laughs> Fortnite. It's Fortnite, I'm sure. Definitely. Absolutely. Digo, hello! Welcome, welcome! How's it going, man? Good to see you. It's been a while. I hope you're doing well. How is it? What? A brand new game? What? You crazy fam. What? <laughs> Did I say that it was brand new? It's not brand new. It's not. Okay. Alright, so I guess 
let's take a break now. And in the meantime, I'm just going to be setting up the game in the background. Hopefully I can manage to do it okay. <laughs> Hopefully it's not gonna give me a lot of problems and headaches and nightmares. So let's go ahead and do that. I'll see you guys soon. <laughs> 